on. Hey and welcome to this live stream battle report where I'm going to be running the brand new detachment from the balance data slay which is going to boost up the Drakari in the splinter assault force or something like that. Something like that. So that's the detachment I'm going to be running today with the Drakari and it's great to see Drakari back onto the table and Jake. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to load up the YouTube channel. <laughs> and Jake, um, how are you doing? happened to me before. I've been forced <laughs> to use this mess now after well, the internet would tell you that Eldar are dead. I don't think they are, but Ooh, we're gonna see they're definitely a lot. They're definitely not as powerful, which is not a bad thing. But yeah. I'm going to use the Eldari. We've got all our favourites here. Well, we thought so, what a great opportunity to try out the new Drakari yeah. versus the new Eldar to see our Eldar still the pinnacle or Drakari our Eld too well, good. Either way, Eldar are winning this somehow. Yeah, 100%. So, so uh, as you've probably already noticed, Chris is on the commentary tonight. How are you doing, Chris? Good evening. Domino's advert for everyone. Other piece companies are available. Did you, I hope you listened to the full five seconds of the ad just so we get full, <laughs> you know, amounts of I just, money. You know, I was, just, I was just trying to make sure that everything was live and all good on my Mate. phone. And yeah, I betrayed you all. Thank well, you I'm very sorry. much. Appreciate it. You know, and the boss is back, so I thought I'd call Carnage. Seb, how you doing? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, you ready for tonight? Yeah. Who's your money on, Seb? Um, As the betting man you are. <laughs> Jakar. All, oh, all those bets he's made. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and we've, we've also got Billy Cam. We've got Giggly Ghost Cam. Giggly Ghost Cam is back to get you those close-ups of the gorgeous models. Um, so anyway, uh, the mission today is going to be Purge the Foe. Basically, we're going to get points for killing more or holding more. Is it four points for a kill? So you get four points if you kill a unit. Yeah, in about... Four, and yep. four points if you hold an objective at okay. the start. But you only get that one for the second command phase onwards. Yeah. And then you get an additional four points if you hold more than your opponent at yep. the start of the command phase. Or if the end of the battle round you've killed more units than them, additional four points. You get an additional four. And we're playing the deployment Crucible of Battle and also, of course, it's Chilling Rain. Uh, because let's just keep it simple. Let's just see. I've got enough to be worrying about with all these cool units. I've had points reductions, I've got a new detachment, I've got some new enhancements, and this is my first time running Drakari in a very, very long time. Yeah, and whereas myself, <laughs> I've been kicked in the nuts a bit, but I think it's okay. I think they've still got a lot of play, and in, in actual mm. fact, I actually think Maybe Night Spinners. Anyway, they went up loads of points. Mm. Even the change their rule, I actually think is better. I actually think their now. rule is very good still. Um, yeah. It's so consistent yeah. with the rest of all the different types yeah. of its variants. Um, yeah, yeah I've got a, I think I've got an interesting list. I think a few staples you're going to see in a lot of Eldari lists now. Some definitely not, but I just wanted to use them to see how uh, they feel. So. I think the Night Spinner change, uh, in terms of its ruling, is now better against combat units that could advance in charge but worse against Tau specifically that want to just advance yeah. and shoot. So it's great against armies that are gun lines with assault, but less, uh, even better now against combat armies. Well, I feel better into World Eaters as Eldar now. Yeah. Basically. So. Yeah, I would agree with yeah. that comment. It's good. Okay, so uh, the armies tonight, who are we kicking off with, gentlemen? Me. Okay, so in my army, I've got quite a lot. <laughs> You do have quite a lot. So I've got two Archons, um, and we've got two Enhancements. We've got the Nightmare Shroud, which means you can't overwatch that unit. And then I've also got another one, which means if I kill a unit on an objective, then I get a Pain Token. And obviously that's my army rule. I get some Pain Tokens, which are here. And uh, like that noise. Um, and basically I'm going to put those on my units as in when needed at the start of the phase and they're going to give me reroll hits and plus one AP if it's in the combat phase. Hmm. I've also got Drazar, I've got uh, three units of five Incubi, I've got a unit of ten Cavalite Warriors, I've got Lilith Hesperax, I've got two units of Mandrakes, I've got five Raiders, one Ravager, one Succubus with the other enhancement because I just have the points left, which gives my unit stealth and also the benefits of cover. Um, we've then got five Racks, we've got two units of ten Witches, and we've got one Venom, uh, I said the Mandrakes, didn't I? And then I've also got three Void Weavers. The reason why is because for two reasons. A, I felt like it was kind of cool to match the army's theme. And number two is that when I shoot you, it forces you to take a Battle Shock. Every time you fail a Battle Shock check, I get to uh, a have, a, have a Pain Token. And also they do good damage, so yeah. yeah I think it's a good challenge. That's my army. Nice. What's yours, army mate? Well, so I've gone with Eldari, okay. the war host. So there's a few changes here. 
So my army rule fate dice. Now they half the number of fate dice I get. So you get six. So I now get six rather than twelve. Okay. Okay. So to help with this, we've taken Eldrad. Mm -hmm. So Eldrad, I think, is going to probably be seeing a lot more Eldar lists now because he gives you an additional three. Right. He gives you another fifty percent of your army starter. Yeah. Yeah. So he's going to give me nine fate dice. So yeah. He's super good. Warlord today is the Autark with the Dragon Fusion and the Star Glaive. He's Way got, Leaper. Yeah. He's got Banshee Mask and he's got the Gem. Okay. So when he dies, I'm going to turn. It back up. Cool. Uh, I've got Fuegan. Remained on touch. Probably the single greatest character in 40k. That is a shocker. I am. I can't. Out of all the things they did, that was the biggest shock. Um, yeah. So he's here because he had to be here. Um, then I've got a singular Farseer just balling on his own. Um, ten Wraith Blades. Okay. With four Ghost Axes and four Shields. This is the unit I want to try, I think. Maybe a bit underrated anyway, but now the Wraith Guard have gone up a bit, it'll be interesting to see how they Well, do. they should still have that same uh, utility, which is that yeah. kind of bully the mid-table um, and really kind of just hunker that down. Yeah. So, yeah. And okay, they're very cool. cheap, and they've got a spirit here with them. <clears throat> so you get with a four-pin bun as well, right? Yeah. So four-pin bun, you can make a minus one to wound. Um, you can't make a minus one to hit because they're Wraiths. But you can bring them back, they get plus one to hit, and they have lethal. Okay, cool. And they get three attacks each, like strength seven, minus two, two damage. Okay. It's pretty decent, so I want to give it a go. Uh, then I've got two units of five warp spiders, two night spinners, and then in uh, deep strike I've got two units of sweeping hawks. And finally, no more Ying Khan. No. No more Ying Khan. The real avatar. We've got the AG back, because I think the Ying Khan... Beautifully painted by C is... Studios. The Ying Khan scene is day now. I yeah. think he's. He, I think his utility now is gone. Like I still think he's super great. He is very good because you can turn one do stuff with him. Yep. But I think now you've lost like a whole fifty percent of his play. I think. Whereas I think this guy fills the gap you need him to. So. I think with the Ying Khan, um, he was too easy to play. Now it takes a little bit more skill. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, yeah which so is good. It'll be interesting because this will be the first time I've played Aldar without Wraith Guard without. The Incarn. But you still um, got Fugan. I've got Fugan. I've got Fugan. I've got some Wraith Blades. I've got a load of unique stuff, so it's going to be interesting to see how it all goes. Okay, so are you playing Tactical or Fixed? I'm going to play Tactical. Me too. Um, probably better to play Fixed with Deploy Teleport Homers in behind enemy lines, but... You can do that if you want. Well, no, but remember, my screening well, this is game thing, is massive. Is I, like, I, I don't want to go engage because it forces me to stretch out too much. Yeah. Um, and also, I just want to see that anyway, I've lost a lot of units in my army. I want to actually see what yeah. I can do. Chris has got his hand up. Yeah. I'm super important with my hand up because if I speak, I might get beaten by Steve. Uh, we've had two super chats while you guys are going. That's the only reason I was holding my hand up for a prominent pause. Uh, first one to Kelsey LTO, $4.99. Uh, hello to the two most handsome people in the world. I don't think there's a commentary cam on, but... <laughs> Kelsey's my favourite. I'll have to go to Kelsey's them too, quality. I suppose. And Kelsey was a legend at LVO. He just kept bringing us snacks and water throughout the yeah, whole event. I've learned so much about different food. We can see <laughs> Jake. Anyway, uh, and wow. a big 1999 from Grim Dark Ash. That's big oh, Ash, isn't it? Yeah, no, no, that's no? that's Ash who was very kind. And when I was at the airport, all on my own. We well, put, we funny you say that, Jake, yeah, because it did, says, he was, he was "Hey guys, own, wanted to say it? thank you for the amazing workshop at LVO, and really to nice. Jake for keeping me company at the airport. Anything, Looking forward to tonight's game and seeing you guys at plenty of UKTC events this year. Keep up the great work." Yeah. If anything, you kept me company. So yeah. Thank, thank you. you, thank you, Ash, for looking after him <laughs> because we weren't there to, so somebody had to. Oh well, yeah, and you abandoned also, me. Also great to see you at the workshop and have dinner with you after. That was great. So yeah. thank you very much for the super chat. Yeah, and the last, awesome. just quick question, just it's on everyone's lips, Steve. Mm -hmm. Are you running Haywire or Prismatics on your Void Weaver? Just uh, because your list says Haywire, but it oh, is Oh no, it's default. Prismatics. Yeah, I jump. Yeah, it's the Prismatics. Sure. Just, we were just wanted a clarification. Yeah. So we're on Prismatics. We just nice. wanted to make sure I wasn't running any tanks. I was like, how many tanks are you running? <laughs> Only two probably won't shoot them. We'll go for Prismatic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, Prismatic is definitely the way forward. 100%. Yeah. And finally, Ian James, member for 22 months. Evening all, loving the dates late. Happy wolf noises. Yes. <laughs> Wolfen with a cheeky little bonus, you see. Yeah, mm. two damage now. Macy play. <laughs> or oh, they would at their points now. They're yeah. very cheap. 75 points for a two damage weapon. Yeah, and pretty good. And the other buffs well. So we need to roll to see who's going first. Jake, are you ready? We've got our brand new play on tabletop dice. And I am got some news for you. At the end of this month, I'm going out to see Play on Tabletop for another week with them. So expect loads of crazy battle reports, live streams with me and the guys at Play on. So uh, yeah. At the end of February. Awesome. At the end of February. Still, yeah. again. Still January. All right. Sorry. 
At the end of this Seb, Seb has had some sugar tonight, ladies and gentlemen. At, He's feeling spicy. At the end of this month, today, after the stream, <laughs> I'm leaving. But, you know, we had to get the content in. You yeah. never know. Mm. I had lots of chats with Adrian from Titans. Yes, yeah. that was great to catch up, was wasn't great, it? Yeah. He said I could go out and visit whenever I want. Really? Not, not you, though. <laughs> <laughs> do, why are you doing me dirty like that, yeah. Adrian? I had loads of conversations about him, about all the people we like. So, yeah. And there's loads of them. So many. Too many to even be able to name. Absolutely. So anyway, right. without any further ado, let's roll some dice and see who's going first. You've rolled a, a three. three. I don't know if I want to go first. I've rolled a one. Oh, You've got me. no choice. You're oh. absolutely going first. So roll me those <clears throat> nine fate dice, please. Right. And I can pick them up and like re-roll them if I don't like them still, right? If you want. Is I'll nine, keep that. Is three sixes. With as well? Yeah, so it's, so it's six base and then I get three extra because of Eldred. So you've got three sixes and two fives. That is a great roll. I'd absolutely that keep That is those. a great roll. Not going to You've got one that. four. That's always interesting. One two four, twos. two fives, three sixes. The three sixes Ooh. are important. The rest of it can take or leave. All right then, mate. Um, cool. So. Well, let's have a good game. Let's do this. Okay. Oh, I made a weird little slappy yeah. noise. Right. So, um, cards wise, yeah. what have you got? got? Engage on all fronts. Cool. And. Uh, secure No Man's secure Land. No Man's can Land. you do that turn one, Secure No Man's Land? You can indeed. It's the other one that you can't, isn't it? Storm Hostile, we can't. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, I can do that. All right, then. And I normally get one command point because I've got the Autarch as my wall. Please pass me my metal dice okay. for my CPs. Thank you, sir. Cool. Um, yeah, if you go to the top down and. All yeah, work. do some measuring. Yeah. Let's take a moment to appreciate Colourforge, our fantastic sponsor. Their range of spray paints has become our go-to for making our miniatures come to life quickly and efficiently. The quality and variety of colours they offer are truly unmatched, providing a smooth application for stunning effects every time. Check out Colourforge for your next hobby project. Well, I'm <laughs> going into this game, Chris. The balance status slate has dropped. It has finally dropped. GW stopped trolling us. Everyone thought it was going to be last week. GW was like, nah, we're going to make them wait. All those leakers, etc. <laughs> Not a chance we're going to leak it today. And then they waited till what, yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah. Big drop yesterday. Although I was at work. So I've only just started really processing it today because my evenings are spent having my head melted by dogs anyway. <laughs> so I just can't concentrate. But are you excited for it at all, Seb? I know we just spoke about this <laughs> off, off mute and you were like, please don't. Um... Yeah, I guess so. I, I I don't really play much 40k, but there's some interesting changes, I suppose. Um, and from an outside point of view, what's your what's your take? What's your interest in takes? Uh, I'm interested to see the new detachment for the Drakari. Uh, it's interesting that they dropped one, like part of the index, isn't it? Just they decided as that a they were not that good, and they just needed all that love, which then has frustrated me a little bit yeah. because. I am in the process of building a whole load of chickens for an Admech army, mm. and I've got no love. Were um, there any changes at all for Admech? Or Necrons, neither. So yeah. mm. hopefully there's something in the pipeline, and we don't have to wait three, four months for something for Necrons and Admech, especially if the uh, the monolith meme continues. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, I would have liked some love, but I'm I'm in the process of uh, sort of divulging through and seeing some you know exciting things. My world eaters were hit kind of hard, but it's already been proved that they're not dead in the water. Like no? I was pretty pessimistic about it when I first saw it. Yeah. Um, but I'm starting to be a little bit more optimistic again. Um, that you know that things have gone up in price and all that sort of thing. I have got to remember that Angron's priced away years in case he does come back. However, for me, there is a Angron with three Lord of Skulls. Lord of Skulls, once it's destroyed something, it can manipulate a dice, plus or minus one. So roll some fives, and Angron's coming back anyway, and just run three Lord of Skulls and Angron. Unless you're George, you can't seem to roll one. Uh, yeah, we don't talk about that. Uh, it looks like something's going at the table. Let's head over. Well, so some things I'm done. There's, I've got nothing, well, there you go. Well, I've got nothing really that I can do, so I'll just walk you through what I did do. I rolled a one to see if the avatar's minus one to wound, which means he's not. Uh, which is very sad. Um, who are you going to give plus one to wound to? You haven't done that from Eldrad. You could do uh, that. It's only uni, you can see. And it's 18 inches. You could do it onto a night spinner? Yes, I pick one of your units. Oh, and okay. Everything so that it's an enemy unit. That, yeah. Got so it. Eldrad can't do that yet. Cool. Um, so, yeah. So, all I've done is flicker. Oh, I need to roll to see if I hurt myself with a flicker jump. So, yep. this unit on a one. No, on the unit up to you. So... Got the, put this unit here for secure and also engage for the warp spiders. Yep. 
I was going to put them on the objective, but I needed to put these here anyway, so I thought I might as well just put yep. them there. And killing this unit here guarantees you four yeah. points. So I can try and kill the Mandrakes in the corner, get four points, but then potentially then it means I can double Night Spin and the other one to get two. Yep. Because if I could get two units on the first go, I don't yep. think Steve can get two units on the first go. Yeah. So we're just going to give it a go. Really. Definitely a good choice. Um, right, so let's start with the shooting. So we'll do all the warp spiders into the mandrakes because yep. then I can see what I need to do with my night spinners. So that is... Oh, look um, at those! 12, 22, <laughs> uh, 27. 27. So if this is also there. hitting torrent weapons yep. with, with dev wounds. wounds. With devastating wounds so. on sixes. And I can re-roll a wound. You can. And what toughness are you? Uh, three, I believe, so on a mandrake. Freeze. I'm going to check. This is the first time I've played yeah, Drakari, so please bear with me, everybody. No, my dice come um, back. I've got I'm toughness three, and I've got stealth, but not that you care. Okay. So that is two devastating wounds. Cool, two dead. And six, ten, fourteen armor saves. Cool. Well, I've got a seven plus save, so I'm. But dead. you have an invulnerable save, right? Uh, a five plus, yeah. Do 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 do. I mean, I'm not banking on many rolls mm -hmm. here. I planted that six. Oh. <laughs> um, definitely so they're all dead, but that's still good. These new play on dice are pretty spicy. They are. Um, One unit down. Right, then next we'll do a night spinner into the five man mandrakes behind the wall. Yeah, I've also got five wrecks here. Yeah, behind, on we're going to start the mandrakes because they're going to be annoying because they can jump off and on the table. They can. D6 plus three. Mm -hmm. So looking for fours. Yep. Re roll a hit because I'm an elder. Uh, twos. Yep. Dev wounds. Uh, so we roll. So if, uh, you can just take three saves from that. Oh, I've um, rolled four. Uh, <laughs> I'll roll that again. So just, uh, three uh, dead. Okay. I was going to say just save it to fail. Uh, and then the next night spinner. Yep. Uh, eight shots. Uh, what's that? Two sixes and I'm dead. Uh, just because you said I'm going to re-roll it all now. There we go. I'm dead. <laughs> cool. So that's teen, it's dead. I'll get Secure No Man's Land for five, engage in all funds for free. And that's it. Nice quick turn, mate. Yeah. Well, Very quick, nice. Quick game's a good game. Don't want to be sat here for too long. I get three pain points, remember? Why'd you get three? Well, because that's what I start off oh. for my army rule, because it's a strike force game, okay? Um, and I believe I get a pain point every time I kill a unit, not when I lose a unit. Okay. Um, I think that's a rack special rule, isn't it? When they Rax die. Racks get it, yeah, when they die, yeah. Okay, well, uh, if you want to mute us again, because now it's going to be my turn. I need to do my cards first. I've got investigate signals. Oh, damn, that could have You're actually quite good at doing that. And then I've also got cleanse. If you're man. Ah! <laughs> my cleanse. <laughs> oh, they're imperfect with well, the mandrakes. So I've already made the right decision. Yeah, okay, cool. Well, mute me, and I'll try and investigate some signals, I think. Uh, what's the OC on these guys here? So what you, and how many did you currently have them there before? Well, I muted them at the wrong time, but Steve's just asking about the OC of some stuff. Um, moving on to this turn one, that was pretty quick. We lost some good scoring units. That was rapid from Jake. He was straight out of the gate, getting him points yeah. in for killing stuff and purging some foes. Really aggressive with those warp spiders. Um, I mean, they had a conversation before the stream of whether they were even going to start, where they were going to start, and Steve very proudly was like, nope, I'm adamant, and potentially now regrets his life decisions yeah but hey ho we digress so as we were saying about um uh, the data spec that came out so we had sort of points increase and drop across the way um you know not too much sort of whinging i think on the internet that's gone too wild for some of the armies i think there's a little yeah. bit of lack of love some people feel for stuff still mm. um I've, I've got my um Imperial Guard army um i feel it was a bit unwarranted to whack my mana core up to 180 my indirect list is certainly now super expensive which is making me <laughs> what sad a shame. um and i felt that i could have done with a little bit more internal balance and maybe some other things dropping in points but the fact that lord solar didn't even change buzzing he's like the one of the strongest units isn't oh he? i'm not complaining he's i think it was 120 points he issues orders out to free people yeah i think I, I think one of the reasons maybe he didn't go up in points or whatever is because you kind of have to take stuff to support him you can't really take him by himself in the world of night spinners and plague burst crawlers and all that sort of thing right um i feel you know as soon as he's picked out that's free you know he can target free things to issue orders to and they can be anything whether that's squadron or regimental keyword 
but then once he's gone, it's a massive negative to your sort of entire army. You just lose out on so many buffs. Exactly, and tank commander can only issue one order unless you give him grand strategist for two orders, and so you just have to constantly feed in more points to issue orders. Whereas he's you know so good, whack him with a command squad. He's dish- dishing three orders out to twenty four inches. Um, again, I'm happy they didn't change that, and they but they did change the uh, orders process at least for officers coming out of transports. So previously, um, if you were mounted, and this is sort of massive for scion lists, really, that are mounted up in Toroxes, mm. you can only issue an order in the command phase from an officer if he's in a Chimera. Whereas now, when they get out of the transport, they can then issue orders. So there's a nice little buff there for some of the sort of the alternative builds, if you like, of pushing Castellans or Commissars around the board with some infantry. Yeah. Um, that are attached to scion, you know, scions, predominantly scions. Mm, I, I believe Mike was quite happy with this change because he thought it meant you could get some more um, in- interactive plays going with guard rather than sitting it back, throwing out loads of orders. Um, so we'll see in the yeah, future. Especially, especially with pre-measuring and whatnot, you can now you know that you can push a vehicle out or you know a flyer if and when they get good, arguably, <laughs> drop someone out and then he can issue orders now to a different part of the ball that was previously out of range. Yeah, you can get some um, aggressive plays going. In we have had cool. a $10 super chat from Mandy D., uh, can't stay so just uh, can't stay so just lurking for the view thanks again she i'm, I'm not sure what she's looking at because she can't see us Seb. um <laughs> glad imperial knights got buffed sad necrons and sisters got no love thank you very much mandy as always always a massive supporter of the channel um i mean necrons didn't we've we just mentioned this necrons didn't yeah. get anything um same as admech uh, you know, again, is it too soon for him to get something with the codex releases and whatnot? Yeah, um, we don't know. They they did obviously topple LVO thanks to Matt, um, part of Team Vanguard Tactics. Uh, but some of, some of that is, I think, to a degree, the battle of the unknown. People don't know what to do against an army because they haven't necessarily come up against new Necrons so much that then when that wild card appears, people are like, "Well, what does this list even do?" And that often does, like you know, catch people out for. Um, Jake is being Jake. I'll tell you what, these these streams had so much. <laughs> Just get that double six on the go. <laughs> Rule of cool, and we've got a monolith on the table. Pretty sure there's some lore history here behind uh, Necron's Elder and Drakari that. They, they would yeah i know but i'm just thinking, i'm just thinking in terms of a law prospect i think it's now everyone switch target and fight that monolith <laughs> no it is not <laughs> jake's just talking about how easy it is to screen this out i said it's, it's not, not easy, not easy. <laughs> this is staying with me now for matt okay <laughs> it's a lighthouse um, Jake, well, Jake off on one yeah so again I think it, coming back into that sort of the unknown of when people are going up against armies and that's often the big bit um, especially when I've sort of gone into more competitive players when I'm playing lists that I've not played against before and I'm not actually 100% sure of what that list does yeah. I often get caught out so when I played Sisters for the first time um, a couple of months ago I, I had no idea what the Triumph did and the interaction with Miracle Dice. And then by the end of it, I'm just stood there scratching my head like, what am I supposed to do against this? <laughs> yeah. Because I'm, I've just not played it. I've just not got used to it yet. Um, but then the more reps you get into these armies and the more reps these players have, then, um, you know, it's fantastic. Well, I mean, also, how long ago was LVO? A couple of weeks? A couple of weeks, I don't weeks, know how yeah. long it takes to write a balanced data slate, but, I mean, maybe there wasn't enough time in between for them to make changes whilst also analyzing everything else that they're changing and seeing that it comes to view o- overall balance but i mean i don't know um, no, it's it's a, yeah and I'm, i mean I've, i feel like the ad mech is at the other end of the spectrum like i'm i'm trying to get through it um and there's ways that i can kind of do it and i've almost just got a hope that when i do take my ad mech that people just don't know what to do against me especially in the um Skitari cohort with all the moving and shenanigans yeah nice. but then the moment you come up against someone that's maybe a bit more experienced or understands what the army can do then you know i'm now on the back foot so yeah great so i might I mean, just fl- I, I might well, just flip and go to town instead who knows <laughs> a lot of army swapping but yeah i hope uh, you find something to stick to it looks like they're done over at the table so oh, let's lovely. switch over and see what steve's done steve just showing off the new uh, command bunker 
Okay, so um, what I've done here is I've pulled this void weaver back to investigate a signal. I've also moved my ravager over to investigate a signal. Um, I've brought the venom over, disembarked the witches after both the raider and also the venom are over the objective. Now I've got more OC on it. I can cleanse it with either the venom or the raider. I've moved this void weaver around, just advanced him to there, brought the other two raiders for the characters in the middle here, just so I can sort of uh, contest the middle section screening out with the racks to make sure those um, model lifts uh, what are they called <laughs> uh, sweeping hawks sweeping hawks can't drop in um, and that's basically what the venom's also not the venom the star weaver's also not to help the with uh, the void weaver even and same for this one just to carry on the screen um, i've moved the raider over i've got the cabalites inside it can gun down these uh so chappies that's over the end here of your movement phase Yes, yeah, so no, I'm going to phantasm. You're going to phantasm, okay, cool. So D6 move because it's not seven inches anymore. That was the thing before. It was you make yep. a normal move, but Max can go seven. Now it's three. So nice. you can just hop like on the other change. side of the wall. Yeah. I can't get any on the objective to deny anything there. So no, just then you'd be sit. an engagement rage of me as well. Oh, because you're little. Yeah. Thing. That's a shame. But you can't shoot me now. But I can't shoot you. That's okay. Oh. All right, so now so, I'm down to TCP. Uh, in, so then, uh, quick shooting phase from me. Uh, the venom is going to um, shoot my warp spiders. The venom, no, the venom's going to oh, cleanse. cleanse. Yep. This raid is also going to cleanse. Okay. Um, and then the witches. Uh, I've got the raider, so I'll put one raider shot down into the night spinner that I can see. What this run? Yes. Oh. What? I'll just say yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought you said. Uh, I thought you were telling me no. Oh no, 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 because these are these are smaller than because the rock's not actually there. Yeah. yeah. So we've got um, a one dark lance shot. I've hit. It's very good. Strength twelve, so yeah, threes. Please. AP three. You will um, get cover. I will get cover. Oh, hang on a minute. What's their new rule for the? Um, it's the if you get out of a transport. Ah, uh, but not the transport itself. I, gets any I will double double check it, but I don't. Let's have a quick so. look from the. Let uh, me roll. It doesn't make any difference anyway. But. Okay. Uh, so let's have a quick look then. So each time a Drakara unit from your army disembarks from a transport, you get ignores cover on the unit and then also lance. Okay, so um, let's go back to what we were looking at. The raider, the damage then is D6 plus two. Ooh, that's good. Two plus so, two. So down to eight. All right, very nice. Okay, so I've also got a strategy I want to try out here. Okay. And it's called uh, Pounce on the Prey. I don't need to know what you're doing in his spare time. Yeah, so <laughs> it's one CP, um, your movement phase, obviously I should have used this earlier, just after Drakari unit is disembarked, the witches uh, made a normal move, the raiders made a normal move, and I can now charge. Oh, cool. So that's what I'm going to do. That's why I put the witches behind the wall so you can't overwatch me, and now we're into the charge phase. Uh, nothing else has got line of sight or can see anything, so the witches into the warp spiders. Mm -hmm. We've rolled a seven. So you're in. I'm in. Could you please put as many into combat as possible uh, so for it's me? It's like all bar these two. And then they can pile in round a corner? Yeah, so they'll all get to fight. It's just cool. more like who has to go where. Uh... So I get Lance this turn because obviously I've disembarked. I've got a succubus in that unit as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. And is it worth me spending a pain token here? For, for reroll hits and also... Because I've got... No, currently I don't have any kills at all. I think it's worth spending a pain token. Yeah. I'm going to get kill more. You'll get no kill more. What. Um, what, what's the AP of this normally? So this is going to be AP, uh, the succubus can be AP3. Yeah. And also the units can be AP2. Because of you've got out with transport. Yes. No, because I've used a pain token. Okay. I'm getting lance because okay. I've got... I've and got what do you hit on? Uh, threes. And do you re-roll hits? Uh, yes, I've got 30, sh 30 attacks plus yeah. a succubus. And you, you're, we're re-rolling hits? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. No, I won't spend minus one to get them. Okay, cool. One, two, three, four, five, I think that's six, seven, eight. Goffs versus crabs, let's we'll see who wins. Ten. Hmm? Goffs versus crabs, let's we'll see who wins. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, witches. Uh, people. So I get sustained on sixes. And then what strength for these? Uh, so I'm getting plus one to wound, I'm strength three. So you're winning me on fours. Yeah. You're minus two, ask Steve, I'll just kill them all off. <laughs> yeah, it's, to be honest, I'm just more interested yeah. actually to so see. You, you, sh you show the people. What it can are, do now. They are dead. 
That is a lot <laughs> for tax. Oh my. Uh, it's another eight, three. It's always good to see what it can do the first time around. Oh yeah. I'm pretty sure the unit's dead, but there we go. So now I'm moving on lot. threes rather than fours. Uh, yes. And obviously this is where that plus one to wound would come in better is that if I was up against Marines or something where it goes from fives yeah. or even Gravis where the, uh, no, sorry, Terminate is at a toughness five. Yeah. That's still coming down to fours. Lance is great as a rule. So that yeah. is very good. Which is plus one strength, right? Uh, no, it's plus one to wound. Plus one to wound, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's even better. Yeah. yeah, so even to uh, up against toughness Sub five. Sub rules. <laughs> Um, yeah, so this is many saves. That's quite a lot. Yeah, um, so rules they're dead. It, but they are dead. They're just again, shave the people. I AP five two up, now. Five so up save. Straight to the five up. So by How one. many would I have killed? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 20. So I could have killed twenty. Yeah. But I'll that just take. Is... I'll just take the five. You yeah. Know, just fine. take the five. So I'm curious. So what? What's the toughness of a Necron warrior mm. if it was to go into like a you know five, the four. typical four. blobs? Four, I think. Like it's pretty nuts. That that is very good. That they can that they do that much damage. I, I mean, like my first thought here is against orcs would be great. Mm. Uh, thank you, thank you, sir. Fine. So let's just. Put How's that hat situation, Jake? It's good. It's on the it's on the peak song potentially. After I just watched you know witches rugby tackle my warp spiders. It's okay mm. though. We make do. Now, do I have any of the stratagems? I think I do. So I've got a stratagem here called swoop, not swooping mockery, swoop. not night shield, wraith like the tree. At the end of the fight phase, one Drakari infantry unit from your army that has fought this phase, bingo witches, your unit can make a normal or fallback move, but unless it's a witch unit, it must end wholly within three inches horizontally and five inches vertical of a transport and must embark. So what I'm gonna do now is spend a CP and I'm gonna get back in my radar, <laughs> okay? Can you disembark and embark in the same turn? Uh, you can, not in the same phase. phase. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah. so yeah, so they're all back I'm in. I'm back in! <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. Whoop. Thank you. Okay. Good little hit and run there. Yes, Ad Admex Katara Co. I have a very similar shoot and scoot kind yeah. of activity, and I think it's very powerful yeah, for the, that, yeah, that the combination. The Explorer at Mana Pool's got one where when you charge them, they can jump into a into a tank, which is pretty cool. Tal have one as well, don't they? And then the Firestorm Detachment? Maybe. Yeah, you're right, Seb. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm actually pretty happy with that. That was good. That For was a little, little 2CP shenanigans. Yeah. That was good. 2CP to kill some warp spiders and not die in return is pretty good. Pretty good. Um, nice. So, my, so, end of the turn, though. Yeah, so I get four points on cleanse. Yeah. And then I get... Uh, you get five points on cleanse. Five points on cleanse, yeah. And then I've also got two corners, which gives me four points to investigate. And you get four because you killed. I get four points because I killed. I'll get an additional four because I killed more than you. Yeah, and I get my pain token back because I killed a unit. Nice. So you get the extra four, yeah. Very nice. Just while you're on that uh, interim, we've had two Super Chats. Oh, so yes. first one from Peter Harrison for 20 Canadian dollars. What a ledge. Hello, everyone. I just wanted to say the game you played against Sean Naden. Naden? Naden, yeah. Naden was the Eptimone of sportsmanship. At a high level of play, well done. Hope you're well. My workouts are still going strong, Stephen. Oh, good work, Peter. Great to hear, mate. Cool. Also, I want a testimonial from you for the old fitness stuff because Battlefit is coming out and people need to know how good the old fitness training programs are. And also, thank you very much for your super chat. Yeah. And Jake trained you, didn't he? Looks, muscles, 40k, Beard. just doing everything and just generally chatting to people that you meet. Yeah. Awesome. And then we've got one more super chat from the big man himself. Five pound. It's Dogfish 100. However, <laughs> it is Ash. It is the brown wall. It is the chocolate dynamite. <laughs> it is the biggest man in 40k that I know. Cho chocolate Thunder is what chocolate he thunder. said is what I need to say if I ever need help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thunder of the chocolate variety. <laughs> help me. <laughs> if, if, any of, if anyone ever meets Ash at an event, You'll he is there. He is. To, he is there to play. He is not there to mug everybody and take <laughs> it, and take your pocket money. If they, if but he could if he wanted to. If we go to, to an okay. event at the UKTC, as they are all in sports halls, no, he's not here for the gym. <laughs> he's definitely there for the gym. Yeah. Me and Ash are actually hitting the gym at Beachhead. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah in well. the morning. Nice. Yeah, Chris, you want to come? I might do. Oh, okay. Well, it depends. Well, it depends on James. Can we bring Jake? No, Jake, don't, Jake don't is say, staying no, with don't me. Don't say no, 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 no. You're the one that's like, oh, I don't know if I'll come early on the. 
on the Jake, we've already had a discussion. We're going to play it Friday night, and we're yeah. going to explore the well, event. I, need, on I still the need a ticket. <laughs> so, <laughs> thanks, Phil. <laughs> um, yeah. So, Jake, you're going to go up one or two CP at this point. I'll go up two CP. So you're going to go up to big four, yeah? and then I'm going to get four on primary. I'm using battle tactics yet. Me? Yeah. No. But, well, who else would I be talking to that could um, be playing any stratagems in this I game? Don't know. Uh, and then I get bring it down and behind enemy lines. Oh, my screening's done well. Cool. So probably not going to get that unless I literally throw you know warp spiders at you. You carry on. Um, um, have you got any battle tactics? Because I've got a vec. Yeah, I do have battle tactics. Which ones? I don't think any of the good ones. All right then. We can have a look. Let's have a look. The uh, command center. Hmm. That's useful. Oh, too many stratagems. Uh, no, that's not one. What I would like is on the back. If it said. BT next mm. to the. Uh, you you like can make me my minus something. one to hit. You can <coughs> vex. You haven't used that yet, have you? No. Okay. Um, Phantasm. That's not one, is it? No. <laughs> that's it. Well, that's, yeah. So you can C CP reroll. Oh, um, the auto advance six as well. You can. All right. Cool. That's good to know. Thank well, you. Generally useless. Gonna have to interrupt you. Hmm? Yeah. Big John. Yeah. Ricardo. Fifty. <laughs> Memberships oh. dropped. Legend, thank you. Everyone's scooping them up. But <laughs> it was great to actually spend a lot of time with John. I got to spend loads of time with John. I was very happy. Yeah. I learned so much. And he showed me so many cool heresy models. Yeah. I'm, but... I'm hoping I get one of these memberships as well. <laughs> 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 so you check out all the fantastic members content. Oh, hold on, let me get my phone out. <laughs> oh, thanks, yeah. John. John, you're an absolute legend. You're my thank favorite, you very much. John. Yeah. Um, it's also going. great to hang out with Nick as well. It's not yeah, Nick, Nick is also a legend as <laughs> yeah. well. Nick Kiva. Yeah. And obviously Monolith Matt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the happiest man in 40k. <laughs> Some people is. He's just won the LVA, mate. <laughs> Very sad. Uh, right. He's got the stern death stare look, hasn't he? Yeah. yeah. He's it's, like, it's Matt, though. come here and tell me I can't part with one. <laughs> if I want to stick a Monolith in your <laughs> back end uh, <laughs> your of back your deployment end. zone, I will. All right. Yeah. yeah. Think of the children. Yeah. Right. Um, Peter but, Harrison, yeah. thank you very much. While we're still just divulging in all nonsense that Jake loves, another 20 Canadian dollars. Oh. Thank you very much again. I apologise to Jake. You know we all love you too. I don't know who the. You don't have we, to apologise to right. Jake. Yeah. I'm pretty content. But thanks um, for the 20 dollars. Yeah, if you mute us and go to the top down, that's all I'm waiting for, to be honest. People keep being lovely <laughs> well, okay. and giving us money. <laughs> so, um, well, you um, say that. Yeah, yeah you, say, you say that. We'll, we'll raise that one in a minute. You guys crack on. Otherwise, we're gonna. Jake's gonna miss his train. Uh, well, we'll leave them to ask their questions and do the oh, game. Well, for. thank you, John. You've you've absolutely filled that chat up. But I'm I'm gutted. I, I didn't I didn't get a membership. <laughs> it's like you're gambling. <laughs> oh, you? I know. I just, I'm sitting in that chat. I've even dropped some comments and it hasn't worked. Obviously, if you are in the chat <laughs> and such as Ryan uh, Krippendorf, there grayed out name. Um, just make sure that your auto subscribe um, auto accept is on otherwise you will not be able to accept uh, the free memberships from the kind supporters such as John um, who without them this channel would not be where it is now ultimately people yeah, like him true. dropping free memberships and allowing all those people like me to view members content and then come back for more you know and hopefully you enjoy what you see and then you continue to subscribe them so we've got quite a bit to get through here. So we've got Jake and his dodgy three inches um, was raised. Um, I agree, Kevin. You know, Jake is a little bit questionable sometimes with his movement. So you have got to watch him. Um, you know, his, his, his idea of three inches is very different. Um, <laughs> uh, Kelsey called it literally as Steve was doing it. The Jakari doing the shoot and scoot. Oh, I'm, nice. I'm a big fan. You know, you yeah. jump, you jump out, you go fight something, you kill some crabs. And yeah. then you spend a CP and you just go back to safety, which then means, you know, now now for someone to avoid doing that, having that sort of come at them again, they've now got to chew through that transport. And every time, as we know, with now this new Jakari detachment, mm. they get buffs every time they get out of the transport. So, you know, it's, it's allowing that Jakari unit, to the witches, just to keep sort of capitalizing on that buff of getting Lance and the other perk that they get that is now <laughs> just absolutely gone from my head because I want to talk about it. Yeah, it's just a massive, um, like, it's terrifying. They just, like, can get all over the board, hit and runs everywhere and disappear, like, striking and fading. Um, especially with, like, all these hard-hitting units that want to get stuck in 
get some pain points, they can now get back to safety into their vehicles. And that vehicle sitting, again, just in a little bit of cover, so he's going to get the benefit of cover when anything shoots at him. Just, again, that durability. And Steve's just denying that board out. You can see <laughs> yeah. Jake's now trying to you know, see what he can and can't get in. But he's playing, that army plays that screening game so well with all the little vehicles with a decent amount of range on them that can sort of hold back. You know, maybe something's embarked on them that he can just feed into the meat grinder as they start to trade. But... Jake evidently is going to run out of things to trade very quickly at this rate. Obviously, the avatar's stepped out now. Yeah. And he's going to come and do some uh, do some punching. He needs to start busting some boats down. Well, he's got to get there first. That's the trouble. <laughs> yeah, they're just uh, too fast for him. Yeah, and obviously, the, is this the Wraith guard that he's now bringing out? The Wraith blades? Wraith blades, yeah. You'll see how they pan out. Obviously, it's, it's nice to see someone take not the Wraith guard. Obviously, just shooting at everything and being that big, scary blob. But yeah. You're playing the the webway as a full blocked wall wall, okay? Like you KTC, so people know. If you can explain that, yeah, so people there's no hole here basically. I unmuted you for that, so they heard you. Okay, so there's no wall. Uh, there's no hole here. This is actually fully blocked, as if we're playing on UKTC terrain. Which is here for the aesthetics. Yeah. That's why we keep Steve around. <laughs> not because yeah. it's his channel or anything. It's just he looks pretty. Yeah. yeah. Striker pose. I'm not sure why we kept uh, Jake, I'm, but. Um, uh, well. Wow. I missed it. Sorry, I switched to Jake because we talked about Jake. I'm, sorry. I'm done now. <laughs> no, Jake's done. done. <laughs> well, while you're while you're done, I'm going to quickly step out. I've got a tower army to pick up. Oh, from Phil. Oh. Uh, Good old we... Daddy Phil's here. We Daddy's here. Have... Daddy Does Phil, Phil? want to come in and quickly? <laughs> <laughs> Phil can come in if he wants. If Phil wants to come in, can you tell him that he can come in? Yeah. Because I want Phil on stream. I'd be like, this is the person who's kept me alive. <laughs> My dad. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. We also had a super chat from Simon Rees. Uh, Drakari player, so love the changes, but worried... Uh, might be too many at once. What's your thoughts on rolling out that many changes to a faction at once? Well, Vatan sort of had a very similar thing the, happen. I think so. the issue can often be is that we saw this with Necrons in ninth edition. Yeah, they got secondary changes, points decreases. Yes. Faction rules. And all of a sudden, they were just the absolute yeah. menace. Well, Vatan have had it. Like I think Vatan have been very undercooked at the moment. Like I have said for ages that if they didn't receive proper nerfs, yeah, I then think they would jump above. Votan are going to go right up there. I just yeah. don't know if Drakari have the damage output still. But that I was... don't think it's even the damage output. I just think it's like the durability. Well, yeah. Like mm -hmm. there's a potential that I could pick up quite like at least a, a raider and yeah. a void weaver, maybe even another raider, depending if I roll lucky. Yeah, so, definitely. Yeah. All right then. With so, that note though, <laughs> let's start the shooting. Um, I will just quickly go through what I did though. Gave Avatar minus one to wound because he's going to go balling out. And he is just within range of this raider. He's going to shoot it. Going to use a six to be, do the sustained D3 and try okay. and blow up that raider. Wraith Guard, I used a two for my fate pull. And with the fastest ability, I turned it to a six. So I yeah. advanced six, the Wraith Blades. Yeah. Raider over there, um, the Warp Spiders could potentially shoot. I'm going to ignore that. But the Warp Spiders... Where's your fast? Here, here? Yeah, he's on the bottom floor. But but he's within six inches, right? So we'll just leave him there so people can see. Yeah, so, he's so he's on the bottom level within six, within six yeah. of this unit. And it. then uh, Night Spinner's all tucked in there, ready to do some damage, potentially. Mm -hmm. Warp Spiders can do some shooting as well. So Did you just... want to move Eldrad up behind the unit? Uh, why not? Because then, obviously, you can actually start being effective as next don't turn, can't you? Well, I mean, I could uh, shoot him, but... That's the only thing, I think. This is the only thing about running this sort of list, is if that you, you have to be very here, careful. I'm going to really struggle to see him. Yeah, there All we right. go, then. Cool. Right, so let's do some shooting. Okay. So we'll start the avatar, because it's the one I definitely know what I want to do. So six goes in. So six goes in. That's sustained. So sustained D3. So four hits. Great. Uh, this is strength loads. I'm just going to roll it. Yep. Well, then... uh, that's going to be all wounded, I'm pretty sure. I think it's like strength 16 or something insane. Uh, come on, Warhammer 40,000 app. I'm toughness 8. That's great. I'm strength 16, so they all wound. Okay, cool. This so is got, minus 4. So I've got 6 up in runs here. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, 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 cool. cool. No, none okay. of them. And this is all D6 plus 2 damage, oh. so that's uh, loads of damage. In cool, your well, I've got 10 wounds. I'm dead. Oh. Do I explode? No, I don't. Oh. So cool. that's going to get me 4 on bring it down so far. 10, 11. 11 models in the unit. Mm -hmm. And one to take mortals. Uh, oh, three mortals. Wow. Three models. Well, do they ever feel no pain? No. Phil. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> e. Hello, Phil. Hello. So we're live streaming, Phil. I know. You can come on you in. You can come in. Yeah. 
Do you want to come, come and say hello? Just, just wave to everybody. Do you want to come and say hello? Yeah, come on, Phil. Come on, look, the avatar just killed the raider. Yeah, great. Hello. This is yeah. Phil. This is, this is Daddy Phil. This is basically my dad. <laughs> you want to stand a bit further to the right? So, you, look, look, the you need to go that, go yeah, that way come here. Go that way more. You come here with me. So, that's yeah, that's the avatar. And I'll just flap Watch the your raider, shins. basically. <laughs> oh, let's get rid of that. <laughs> you can if you want. Um, yeah. Ooh. What was what, so is, what, this, is this the new detachment? We're using the new Jakari detachment, yeah. yeah. That was very nice. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to, it, it blaps my warp spine, that's not good. Um. <laughs> I did this really cool move. I got out after the raider had moved. There's one CP stratagem, so you can then charge, a bit like making one of these guys a land raider. Yeah, yeah. Killed the unit, <laughs> consolidated back towards the objective, got within range, spent one CP, jumped back in the raider. And then what I did in return is the other top shot. Hey, nice right. hey, blank. <laughs> <laughs> that skill move. Yeah. Um, cool. And then. I'll let you. Cheers, right. Phil. Bye, Phil. Say goodbye, chat, <laughs> to Phil. If you just leave the keys on a tire, yeah. load my car up. <laughs> load me up, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So it's the it's the tray there. If, could you? Yeah. If that's all right. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Um, Righty ho. What have I missed? Can I have a recap, please? Oh yeah, sure. Oh, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, Phil. Bye, Phil. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, Dad. You. Right. Anyway, basically, um, uh, Chris. Um, have we spent any CP, Jake? Uh, not yet. <laughs> basically, cool, so still on four. he skill moved the land raid. Uh, the so what I did is I shot a raider, and instead of taking any unnecessary risk, I just put a six in to get to sustain D three. Rolled skill. a five, so then I got four hits on the raider. And absolutely blapped it. Cool, so you effort. killed one, but that's also a bring it down point then, isn't it? It is as well. How many um, wounds does the raider have? Ten. Eight. Is it? I thought it was. Oh, yeah, it was ten. ten. Sorry, I'm toughness eight. Incorrect. Incorrect. No. Incorrect. <laughs> um, so, right, next <laughs> we're going to go with the. Going to try a night spinner. Go on then. We're going to shoot a void weaver. Shoot him a void weaver. So, number of shots? Four, not great. Uh, Four shots. Do I want to CP that to try and. Don't know, mate, do you? I am going to see Pete. He's going to see Pete, everybody. I two going into my turn. What a chump. What I want to do. Six. Oh, dear. So six plus three. So fours. Um, Eldar reroll. Good. Eldar reroll. Uh, okay. And then toughness. Uh, I'm toughness six. So freeze, but um, dev. Uh, I'm going to fish. Right? He's going to fish. So oh. Oh, only one, but one dev. So four up in one. I'm okay. Ooh, but so, so two wounds you take. Got four wounds left. Okay. I will shoot another night spinner at you just to try and kill you. So okay. Five plus. Can I um, make a suggestion at this point in the game? Yeah. Um, you could try and kill me with your warp spiders. Well, that's what I was thinking. and then Because then it gives you an option to shoot something else with the other... Nice oh, spinner. I forgot the switch. <laughs> yes. Do you mind if I... That's I'll roll the shot. This is why I'm yeah. recommending no, you do thank this Thank you. This I stage. forgot. I, to be fair, I forgot they got out. Um, so warp spider into the Void Weaver. So that's 25. Mm -hmm. so, uh, 6, 10, 15, 20, 5. Uh, four sixes will kill you. Four sixes will kill me. Yep. Uh, there's five sixes, six sixes, I've given you a change. They would have just killed you by themselves. Yeah. Um, so that's another three on Bring It Down, so I'm on seven for that currently. Do I explode? No. Oh. Okay. And then I will spend two CP to fire and fade. Sure. Uh, and just into your deployment zone. Yeah. So I definitely get Bring It Down. Behind enemy lines. Uh, that's the other one. Because you didn't quite have enough with the 24-inch move, did no. you, to do it? So. And then the other night spinner will shoot the witches, so that's D6 plus four. So seven. Is it a blast? It is. That's why it's a plus three, but plus one. Cool, got it. Yep, yep, love it. Fours with a reroll. Yeah, this unit's got stealth and uh, the benefits of cover. Yeah. Not that it matters. Uh, twos. Uh, wait, fish for it. So five. Okay, so I am getting the benefits of cover. Um, and my save is six up. So I'm getting cover, so five ups, because it's AP nothing, isn't it? Yep. And I've rolled, so four dead. Cool. And then your minus two move, minus two advance, minus two charge. Nee, nee, nee. Nee, nee, nee. <laughs> no mature. And then, <laughs> that's it. So end of my go, I killed two units. <clears throat> I'll get seven on bring it down. And I'll get three on behind enemy lines. Yep. Very nice. And fourth, because I killed a unit. Right. Was, sorry, it was just the one for bring it down, wasn't it? Uh, two lots of bring it down. Ooh. So that's what I meant. So I got, Sorry. I killed, 
I've killed a 10 winged unit, a 6 winged unit, and it's tactical. Yeah. Yes. So that's 7. Yeah. I don't know, whatever the Just card says, mate. I think so. whatever, the, whatever that says. Is the app says it's 6. 6, there we go. Yeah, so makes six. sense. And then 3 for bring it down, 4 for killing a unit, and that's it. Yeah, happy. Thank um, you. Three for behind enemy lines, you mean? And f yeah, three for three. three. Yeah. Um, and you killed, you killed stuff, so you yes. got four And you also, he would have got a hold as well at the start of the turn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and okay, I will get the hold and the hold more. You are going to get the hold and the hold more. Okay, cool. And no. my two cards. And I killed two units. Storm well. hostile objectives. Mm-hmm. So cool. take an objective off me, which uh, I can't worked do. out quite well. Area denial. Which you easily can do, because I actually don't think they are within... You've got no one within there's six. There's no one within six, so all you've got to do is put a unit within three. Oh, I can see if I can do that. Um, battle shock for your witches, please. Oh, no problem. Five. No I've got a problem. No, I've got a problem. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. There, they've done their job now. They've done their job. Hmm. All right, have we had a word from our sponsor <clears> this, this round? If not, then uh, do that and then mute us. But before we continue, I'd like to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, The Outpost. If you're looking for a great deals on your miniatures, paints and gaming supplies, we've got you covered. Their wide variety of exceptional service makes them the go-to destination for all hobby needs. So don't wait, check out The Outpost today. Link in the description below. Well, forget what I said about uh, those witches being safe. They're very much out in the open and not having a great time. Witches are in trouble. Yeah. Well, that was an exciting little round. We had visitors. We had, you know, mm, it's cameo. Pay, pay peanuts, get monkeys. In terms of me, with you know, distracting Steve and Jake, and oh, very exciting. But I've got a new army now. Yeah, I've got a new army to play tomorrow. I've got Tau. I'm excited. Yeah. Well, well no. after after my uh, orcs fiasco the other day, although it was great on stream against Michael, it turned out when I took him to the GT, as many people are aware from me sulking about it, it went, <laughs> it went terribly. But they oh. had a nice little glow up with some points reductions across the board on some buggies and vehicles. That horrible buggy speed kind of freak wah is, you know, <laughs> well and truly alive again. Battle okay. wagon going down, get Gaz in a big truck, yeet him up the board, you know, send him places that people don't want to see him. So Gaz can fit in the trucks now? Uh, only a battle wagon. Was he always able to do that? Uh, only, yeah, only the battle wagon. So oh, the battle he, wagon. Yeah, he can yeah, go into a, he can go into truck or um, kill rig or hunter rig or anything like that. He takes up too many. I think, I think it says he takes up the space of like a ridiculous amount of models. Or I can't remember what the wording is again now. But yeah, he goes into a the big battle wagon, the big party bus. <laughs> um, so you can whack him in there and then yeah, and send him on up. But whether we'll see that happen or not, who knows? It'll, yeah. it'll be exciting. Um, I have got a friend who is looking to run the battle wagon with a bit of uh, gas, so you know, get the big guy out on the table himself. I'm sure there's some people like Gareth and whatnot that are probably keen to get their gas in a truck and get him out and battle for a play rather than foot slogging it. Yeah, uh, having a march at the battlefield. Would yeah, suck. and he's he's only got a five inch movement, so he's not exactly you know he's a big old model, but the perks of him is he can go through walls because he's not a monster. So oh, nice. uh, considering that he can you know he can just charge through walls. It's very nice. Um, yeah, and here we got a lovely. I believe this is a Ravager, painted by LPP. <laughs> it is indeed a Ravager. I'm it's got it's got the extra guns denied. on it. Yeah, um, are there even people manning it? Is a ghost ship? Yeah, it's cheeky, yeah. Is there? I can't see them. Ah, uh, see, so L LPP doesn't slack. She does get the full model on there. Whereas wow. I remember when I built my <laughs> my Ravager. There were no crew. That's extra painting. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not about that life. Well, whatever you do, don't look at the Harlequin uh, Void Reavers you've got. Um, yeah, we're starting to see the f oh, the downside to this like kind of army is their durability, really. Um, the old glass hammer technique. That's, and that's I think what we'll mostly we'll see from this is it's a detachment that you really have to pick and strike where you go. And that will really like decide the battle for you, because if you get stuck, I mean, you're probably going to get wiped. They're mostly toughness free across the board, aren't they? Yeah, they're quite, they're quite, they're quite um, fragile. Yeah, I can't. I don't know what word I was even trying to fathom then, but they <laughs> couldn't process it. I couldn't spit my teeth out. Fragile words. Uh, fragile, fragile, but yeah, stuff. fragile. Yeah, they're they're, they're quite soft. Um, ultimately, you know, they're not running around in armor. They, you know, power armor like a space marine. So, yeah, toughness free. But they're evidently hitting hard, but. It, it seems more about that trade game, doesn't it? Like, get yeah. the, you know, feed feed the wave, feed the meat grinder, you know, maybe use the witches first before maybe considering your incubi or your other stuff. And just, I think it's, like you said, it's pick and choose your trades. Yeah. How, what am I going to trade? What am I going to just wrap up and try to keep wrapped up? 
Um, you know, we've already seen the two CP combo that um, Steve has used for the one CP strat to get them out and do the moon charge. Yep. And then the one CP to bring back. So arguably you could say that the detachment's a little bit CP hungry for some of your, you know, nifty uh, tricks. Yeah, and Jakari don't have any ways of generating CP, as I found out earlier, as far as I'm aware. I have no idea, but you know, cool. apparently you do know more about <laughs> some things than me for a change. That's nice, isn't it, Seb? I had time to ask questions. That's oh, why. There you go. It's like you did your homework tonight. Yeah. Um, I wish you could do it every week. Um, what's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying, Seb, you know, when we when we get you playing 40k, you know, when you go onto the members lounge and you uh, go through the academy and you learn how to play 40k, I maybe the academy we'll get, maybe we can get you up there. The we, can, we can have you playing, you and Mike. Playing it off. Playing well, off maybe stuff. one day. Anyway. <laughs> oh, <laughs> careful of my words. Um, you know, I play Mike casually off, um, you know, outside of work here and there. But How it's horrible just... is he to you during that? Is it, is it, oh, is, is it sibling rivalry or is it... Yeah, I often he often breaks my models down and makes them into new uh, plastic cups. I'll tell you what, older, older <laughs> brothers are the worst, and that's why I don't bother talking to mine. Uh, um, no, we, we, we get on along pretty good, actually. He's pretty... He's, um, he's not in the room. Nice you can't room. Blink, blink if you're unhappy. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're starting to see some movement blocking, I believe. Yeah, so were, the I, I think they're in a big chat about it. So Steve, Steve starts bringing those sort of vehicles out. The avatar's in the open. It's already done him dirty a little bit there. I don't, you know, he needs to start pipping off some of them wounds, um, holding them back. And mm. just he's he's got the flamer and he's he's stabbing he's jabbing at everything. Oh look, Jake Jake with his little finger. He's he's a lovely little model though. Who painted that? I wonder. Hmm, because it wasn't LPP. C Studios. One of us wants this. <laughs> Go. Go girl. The giggly, um, the giggly ghost is busy. But yeah, so they're moving out. Uh, we've got some dismounting going on. Uh, as it was already highlighted, just for the, the clarity of the chat, that the webway pieces of scenery are replicating a piece of wall. So there's not a great big gap there. There is a wall. Um, and it's uh, It's the UKTC layout, but just with some fancy terrain because it looks nice for you uh, viewers at home. Yeah, I wonder if Steve's trying to block line of sight for the avatar to his raiders at the back on that wall, maybe, on the webway gates? Interestingly, we'll be able to ask him in a minute what yeah, his chain we'll of thought was because he's got the dark glances, so we could take some pot shots and whatnot, and he's got prismatics um, that can sort of fire up. But never mind, he's going for it. Every time that that avatar takes a step closer, that's one step closer to a dead raider or <laughs> ravager. Doom. Exactly. Yeah. So he needs to, you know, the avatar has got his his own tips and uh, his own tricky bits of reducing damage tips and, and, tips and tricks hey guys tips and welcome trick. back <laughs> today i'm stomping on this it's, boat. it's like he's got barbecue fingers <laughs> he is lava barbecue <laughs> fingers you won't go hungry look, look, let's see look at that cooking away <laughs> you know, he's cooking up some raiders at the moment yeah and maybe some witches in a second poor, the poor little dudes and it'd be interesting to see what jake does next with the um the wraith guard Rafe uh, blades, Rafe, Rafe blades. Yeah. keep mixing out because the amount of times I played into Jake's Rafe guard mm. um, after he borrowed them off, well, brought them off me as well. Um, <laughs> but I, I seem to be really good at swapping and changing armies at the moment. I've got commitment issues, what can I say? Yeah. Uh, um, it looks like they're ready, so let's head over. However, before they start, I will read out the big super chat. I am going to find them. Just find wait. Them. Cool. So we've had John McArdle, once again, $100 super chat. <laughs> Nick and I tore up the blackjack table on the last night. <laughs> 6000 yeah, 6, Steve, hope you got your money's worth. Watch out for the stray bullets. Still waiting for my signed Jake portrait. Jake. I, keep, I keep saying to him, he needs to give me his address, but he keeps not... However, he did have lots of quality Jake time, sat um, from row for LVO finals. Sat from row for LVO. Oh, we, we were sat, me and him were sat together watching ah, okay. Matt. Just a, just a little water correct. And so much fun. Can't wait to come over. And John, you know you're more than welcome. He definitely to get here. knows. I told him enough. And we've got John Miller. He's been a member now for 20 months. Love to see this top bottom matchup. I think Jake clarifies us both. Um, what are your thoughts on the change to Phantasm? Is it worth spending the CP or too risky? Which cues us nicely in, doesn't it, Jake? Well, yeah, because I'm about to use it. So I actually think Squad Tactics is one of the best stratagems for the, the Space Marines. Yeah. So the fact that that is a D6 and that allows you to but it only triggers when a unit gets within nine yeah. it's still insane because there's no need for a distance trigger yeah you just have to make sure and because a lot of eldar models anyway are small they're actually their base is under an inch it means that as long as you roll a one you can just skirt behind a, um, uh, a ruin or something to hide but 
often sometimes I'll roll a one or a two and it's too big than my base and I can't even move through the wall. So yeah. I still think it's a very good strategy. The only thing I will say about it is that unlike squad tactics, it specifically states you can't go into a transport. Yeah. So you can't do stuff like that. But, but that's probably fair. But with indirect being probably nullified in the game, yeah, it's a we'll see way less more of expensive, it. Yeah. I, I think it's okay. All right, so you want a phantasm. Yeah. What are you going to phantasm I'm going to phantasm Fagan. Okay. Just so then I can try and get him up the table because I can position him in such a way that if you do want to, like, you won't be able to shoot him anyway. Oh, he'll um, be movement facing when I got out yeah, on a charge. So, that. so let's see something. how far he goes. Case five, so that's actually all right. Five inches, Thanks. eh? Okay, Fugan's there for the taking then. He's there. He's coming out on Fugues. Do you just spend a CP just Steve. behind? Yeah, I'm on one now. I'm on one as well. So Fugan's ready to cause some havoc, potentially. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I'm on one CP now. The only thing I could do is make a unit minus one to hit with it. Okay. Really, so. All right then. So, um... That concludes all the movement phase. I didn't want to move this Void Weaver within 12 inches because I've seen this unit of Warp Spiders pick up one quite easily and I didn't want to risk that. I was happy to move the Raiders because even if you did spike, I don't think you'll roll six or eight sixes on Dev Wounds on these. I've kept the racks the still as well because again, I don't want them getting uh, absolutely nuked from the Warp Spiders. Mm -hmm. I've spent my CP so this unit of Incubi can charge into the Wraith Blades or maybe even into... Um, Eldrad? Yeah, there was a debate actually about whether I should overwatch the Venom. And if I overwatched the Venom, it meant you couldn't actually charge after moving because you would have got yes. out and then you can't use the strat. And I decided not to because I thought Dark Lancers are scarier. Then you just so I actually back. think this was a mistake. You should have overwatched. No, I should have did, done because that. Because also, um, at the time, I would have played it differently well, had you overwatched though. what I you would just though. do is then just get all the dudes out. That's exactly what I'd do. So that's yeah. why I don't want that to happen yet. So I, it's a mistake because I should have done it to stop this. Yeah. But at the same time, it stopped you from being aggressive. Yeah. And you get all... All right, so aggressive. shooting phase. Right. Uh, we're going to kick off with the easy stuff. This Void Weaver here has only got one target, yeah. and that is these... Um, warp Spiders. Warp Spiders. I think I've got like a Disperse shot and a other shot and some okay. other shots. Um, so, the Void Weaver. Ranged attacks. We've got the Prismatic Cannon Disperse. 2d6 shots. We'll go with that. Prismatic. Pr yeah, whatever. Okay. Uh, six shots. Two, four, and education five. is important, but big biceps are more important or uh... <laughs> exactly. Blast plus one. Threes. Okay, good rolls there, lad. And then strength four, so threes. threes. Two saves, please, no AP. Are they fine? You're fine. And uh, th shot. Then I've got, you need to take a battle shot check for me, yeah? Uh, I'm fine. Okay, cool. Shuriken catapult or cannon. Has it got two or? It's got two on it, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, cannons. <laughs> uh, that's a sustained hit. Strength six, so two twos. twos. That's two, four, seven at minus one, two damage. Uh, so it doesn't really matter who I take this one fours, uh, so three die. So I'll keep the X arc, but the other three are dead. Cool. cool. Thank you. Cannons. Now we're going to go with this unit here uh, inside the Raider. Mm -hmm. This is the Cabalite unit. And that's, this objective is now sticky for me as well. Yeah. Because they've got their sticky is very good because they can do it while in tanks. Yep. Um, I'm going to put the dark lance down at the avatar and then all the other shots, all the little shots are going to go into here, okay? So let's go with the Cabalites. Mm -hmm. Ranged attacks. I've got a blaster because that's only going to be in range of this unit. It missed. Uh, I've got you a... You could spend a pain token to re-roll your hits. Here. Nah, I'm good, mate. No, cool. Yeah, cool. Thank you, though. Right. War gear options. Got a grenade launcher in there. I've got a blast pistol in there. I've got a splinter <laughs> rifle. I've got a blaster. I've got a dark lance. I've got a shredder. And I've got a splinter cannon. So you, They've got like, all the guns. So you could shoot the, the two dark lances then at the avatar. One dark. Yeah, two no, dark lances. That's what I mean. You've the got the unit, cabalized at yeah. dark lance and the raiders. So I'll do all the other. The shredder. D6 yeah. shots. One. Shredder. Uh... That is a five, that'll wound. No AP, please, the save. Uh, fine. Uh, the splinter fine. cannon. Three hits. Oh, yeah, a lot, don't they? These little, these little boys. anti infantry three plus, that's three AP one. Uh, one fail, so... Oh, two failed, actually, so... Two dead, then. Uh, two, damage. two damage. Two okay, damage, cool. So unit gone. Unit gone, so you get... Uh, so you'll, you'll kill a unit... And, and I get you a just need to kill one, two more units to beat me and one more to match me. Two dark lance shots down at the big boy. Yeah. Two hits. So he's minus one to wound. 
Uh, nothing. Oh. Cool. So this is done. Next here, uh, everything into that thing. So two. So is this just one dial on? Because you've not. Yes, I don't have the cable lights. Yeah, that's fine. So uh, um, one I've got two. hit and a miss. Hang on a second. No. I'll re-roll it. Do I hit? Yes, I do. And um, minus one's wound. A six wound. or wounds? Uh, Four pin van. Um, <laughs> He's tempted. Uh, <laughs> He's tempted to make a save. Is he going to fade dice it? What is oh. it? D6 plus two. two. So it's D6 plus two then half because that's the other change as yes. well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I fail it. Okay, so D6 plus two damage. And then half. That's four, so, so four, it comes two. Two, two so damage. It's down to ten. Okay, cool. Uh, next one, same. This has got the witches in. One dark lance shot. Misses. Cool. cool. Good chat. Um, that uh, void weaver, mm -hmm. prismatic cannon. Go with the better quality shot here. Two shots, one hit, and doesn't wound, cool. Uh, then the two shuriken cannons, all hit, uh, all but one hit, sixes, nothing. Could you please take a battle shock check for me? I'm fine. He's fine, he's okay. He's the avatar. <laughs> right, so dark lance, dark, that's all done, that's all done, that's all done. The, this venom here, the only thing it can shoot is that dude. the blue people in, or the bold people. He's the avatar. I've got two splinter cannons. That anti infantry free plus will help me out here. Uh, Who are you shooting with it? The avatar. Oh, the okay. only thing I can see. So. Sustained hit. Nice. And then sixes. Oh, two, please. AP one. So, I think three up. Oh, <laughs> that's here to check. They are two one definitely fails. Two damage each, so two go through. Uh, well, they both are going to yeah, fail. Yeah, both will go through, but it's two damage each, but down to. Down half, so down to eight. Yep. Oh no, sorry. He has fourteen wounds, so actually I'll be down to ten. Then the Oof. Archon's got a blast pistol, I think. I'll just shoot that at him. At him. Blast pistol. Here we go. He's hit. Strength eight. Oh, six. <laughs> no. Uh, it's only D three damage. Oh, I'm fine. You're fine. Cool. He cares not. <laughs> so done, 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 done. 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 The not Ravager. Done. Three dark lances. At which, because um, obviously you can see both of these. I want to go for the them. injured one. So this one here. Yeah, and I'm going to spend a pain token. So, so I've hit. currently got four. So I'm going to spend one here. Mm -hmm. Let's get put those away. Um, so I get reroll hits. Okay. Yeah. So three dark lance shots. So you spend your pain token. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> three hits. Yeah. Um, toughness nine. So threes. Ugh. Ugh. Do you, do and do I get re-rolls? I what think they've got it? some sort of weird rule, the re-roll ones. But each time you... Ah. Ah. No, you're fine. Just one save. Minus... Oh, it's a six up, is it? Yeah. No. D6, D6 plus, two. plus two damage. How many wounds? It's got eight. So, so you need a big six. six. Oh! One wound left. Oh, give me change. <laughs> one wound left. I'm happy, with, I'm happy with that, to be honest. Okay. All right, so we're into the charge phase now. Uh, this unit here of Incubi are going to charge into your unit there. My Wraith blades. Yeah. Oh, look, I made it. Cool. <laughs> You're just about. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Da, 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 da. So up against the wall. Go to there. And then I'll pile in. Just want to go there, get base to base. Is that an Archon? That's an Archon, yeah. That's cool. Thank you, sir. Uh, Jordan painted it. Right, okay, so the combat phase, the Archon, I'm going to spend a pain token here as well on this unit, so I get plus one AP. Yeah. Uh, no, I get reroll hits, re hits and, and plus one AP. And I get reroll wounds. Why do you get reroll wounds? Is that just the. That's the Archon's one? ability. Oh, nice. And I get plus one to wounds, so that. Neg ne uh... I don't have minus one to wound on this unit. Oh. Because I gave it to the Avatar. Oh, okay. Mm. That's good. And Steve? Yeah. George called you out. Remember, you need to allocate your pain tokens at the start of the phase. Oh, yeah, you can't just do it. It's fine, it's fine. It's a weird one, but yeah, you have to allocate them all at the start of the phase. That's another thing. Me and Jordan were talking about earlier <laughs> about these kind of like little... Um, uh, 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 deflect, 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 deflect. <laughs> I'm sacking him. 
I see. That's, that's too yeah, much. Yeah, that's the only weird. I'm not thing. doing anything at the moment. Because because <laughs> that that because that's, yeah. that's you're in, mate. You're in. Because that is the weird thing with Drakari. You have to essentially plan out your whole phase, which I, I'm surprised actually didn't change. Because that was another thing I thought was a bit silly. Yeah, sure. So, but it's okay. It's okay. Well, we'll it, this was this would have been obvious. Well, yeah. And this is obvious as well. Yeah, so. exactly. Because the other thing you can use a pain taking for is actually roll your charge. Yes, and we also had that conversation about exactly what I was going to do earlier, didn't we? Off. Well, it's order. obvious you're going to re-roll the hits with the thing you really need to kill something. Yeah. You know. Anyway, thank you, Jordan. Thank you for making me look stupid in front of my minions. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, let's have a look at what uh, the old Incubi do. <laughs> He's a Incubi. flex with the best of them. The best to ever do it. Stephen Box. Right. I'm going to spend, I'm gonna spend a CP here. Yeah. Because I'm going to do an epic challenge. Oh, God. Yeah, you, can you see me? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, he's, he's scooted around. I've scooted around, toot, mate. Toot, scoot. Toot, scoot. Because um, I don't think there's any of the better ones to play. Uh, vicious Blades? Nah, that's some sort of transport thing. You can do mortals. Okay, yeah. We're going to go with this. All right. So we're going to spend a CP. I'm out of CPs now. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm getting reroll hits and reroll wounds. And plus one AP for what it matters. Uh, and then we're going to go with the... Archon, first of all. Yeah, so he can position the spirits there. He can, yeah. But so let's just roll all the incubi attacks first because that just makes life easy. Let's do that. But you're going to definitely spend epic challenge. Yes, definitely doing that, yeah. So I've got dual blades and single blades and I've got a clave. What is the difference between all this? One's like more damage. War gear options. Somebody uh, did love and affection, I don't know. Oh, at the start of the fight phase, you owe me a battle shock check, please. Oh, okay. Like, He's failed it, everybody! So you that means I get a paint token! <laughs> and I can't, I don't want to spend any strats anyway, so that's okay. good. <laughs> All right then, that's good. All right then. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I get demi glaives. Oh, and then you get different profiles you can okay, pick. So there's from. demi glaives cool, on cool. the yeah, yeah, main got, man. Yeah, yeah, got it, got it, got it. Yeah. Got it yeah, yeah. Oh, it's on the main guy. Yeah, one, two, three, four. These are the regular dudes, okay? Okay, regular legs. Well, I may as well just chuck his attacks in as well because he hits on wounds on the same. Yeah. Are you uh, using right. all the same, so they all have the same stat line. Yes. Okay. Damage two. Cool. So, um, whatever you needed to hit with three threes. Rolls. Okay. And then what do you need? To, what I'm tapping a seven. So I get plus one to wound. Mm -hmm. I'm strength four. So you'll need. So it would have been five fours now. And you get four rerolls to wound. Yes. Dude, dude, dude. Not bad for a cheeky five. That was good. Yeah. Oh. Much better. Much better. That was like these. There you go then, mate. What's the AP on this? A, this is going to be AP three. So four up in rolls. Yep. And damage. Two each. So one dead, two dead. Three and one's on a wound. Okay. So two and a half dead is what you're telling me. Two, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I'll take one's it. I'll take on it. A wound. Um, so. Um, and then on my, my hero. Yes. I can be your hero. I can, can, an ink, can an Archon kill a spirit here. He gets five attacks with his weapon. The only thing that's sad He's hit five times. The only thing's sad, I can't CP re-roll this. Um, I know, that's yeah. why I like the battle shot. Yeah. Anti-infantry three plus. Uh, yeah, they are infantry. Yeah. They are infantry. Real those wound rolls. Always get confused if they are. No! Say three. What's the damage on this? Two each. Okay. How many wounds you got? I've got four. Mm. So. Mm. First one. Fail it, fail it, fail it. No! Second one. No, 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 no. <laughs> Why did I not just... Oh. Anti-imagery three plus with re-rolls. That should have been five hits, five wounds. I don't know exactly how that's worked there, but maybe. Um, so I'll get to take you back. Great. Uh, so they will get to fight pretty much, right? Because then these come around here. These base. Him. He bases there. I think maybe mm. he goes there. So yeah, they can all. Is that right? Sure. Cool. So. Obviously, that guy can't and that guy can't. No, no, no. That but guy like, can. these guys can. They all can, all yeah. There. So I've got six dudes. Mm hmm. Now, oh, I was hoping for a bit more. Sadly, beggars can't be cheeses. I kept telling them that even before. One, two, right. You ready? Mm. So this is freeze to hit. Yes. 
Six is a lethal. Okay, so you've got one lethal in there then. And then two's to win because this is strength seven. Nice. And this is for us 11 minus two damage two. So I've got five up in one. 11, yeah? Yes, please. Okay, need a big roll here. Five. Ten, um, I would recommend doing these five at a time because the Archon has a turpin roll. Yeah. So. All right, here we go. Five, first of all. Okay, I've saved three. Nice. So then do another three. Three, yeah, here we go. Come on. Uh, now do another one. <laughs> now do another one. Oh! oh now do another one. Oh! oh can they do one. it? Oh, okay. So they're all, so they're all dead, but the, the Archon hasn't even had to take a save. No, Archon's loving life. Oh, them spirits here. Uh, one hit. Uh, one wound. Not on I didn't use my Eldar re-roll before, so I'll just use it on him. Fail. So just one wound, and there's no AP, <sighs> which is fine. Whew. That is another kill, though, for me, so I'll definitely get killed more. Yep. Nice. Uh, I'll then pile in. One, two... Well, what's the AC of this? That is OC... Only going to be one or two. Mm. One. It's AC1, a Venom. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. What's your OC? I'm AC1, but I can bring a model back. Ah, right. So I can bring a model back on the objective. Very nice. Whatever. Whatever, Trevor. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Okay. Cool. Uh, your Venom gets to hit. Oh, of course it does. <laughs> Please don't kill me, Mr. Venom. <laughs> Please don't kill me. Three attacks. Say one that. Three hits. Oh, maybe not. Uh, two wounds. What, hey. what strength is it? Strength five. Oh, you rolled T5. Yeah. Oh, oh no, you killed a wraith guard. <laughs> so. See you later, loser. <laughs> well, luckily, I'll get to bring one back. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that concludes my turn. Um, I will get area denial. Uh, and I don't get storm hostile objectives. I don't think you will. You're not wholly within six. Oh, does the, the, the if for deny you? Does it have to be wholly? So you, error denial is no enemy units within three of the centre and no enemy units wholly within six of the centre for oh. the big five. So and yeah, you are not there. wholly within six, are you, Jake? Yeah. And nope. No, and I'm not within three just. So very sad. Justin. So he's got the big five there. Are you keeping storm, Steve? Or are you um, getting rid of? Yeah, I'll probably keep. Pit. Cool. Yeah. You got the one kill. You didn't get more. Jake got the more. Mm -hmm. And that finishes round two. Right, so round three. I've got three pain, pain tokens left. So, Jake, are you going up to two or three? I'll so go up to three CP. You. I was correct. So, you start the command phase. Bring him back. Nice. Then, um, battle shock. So, this night spinner fails it. Oh, so you get a shocked. pain token as well. Get another token. Uh, I hold two. And Steve holds two. So just four. So just four. And yeah. then I'll get deployed teleport home and investigate signals. That is perfect, because I can bring some sweeping hawks in here. Yeah. So very good. All right, well, you can mute us. I'm going to nip to the bathroom. And uh, yeah, you can chat amongst yourselves. Can I have a monster, please, Steve? Which one? The green sugar free. Yeah, sure. Green sugar free? Green. I have no idea, but it means I'm not going to be laying awake at night. Let me just finish tapping these buttons, Sebi Seb, and yeah, then we're good. back in. <clears throat> Hit save. That's updated for the lovely viewers at home. So, Jake, you might know a little bit more about this than me because we have had a conversation about it, um, especially reference Melter. So, obviously, your avatar there halved incoming damage. Yeah. Uh, if the if it was in melter range, would he also halve the yeah. melter damage because it is no longer a modifier? Yeah, so it? as per the balance data slate, it now states that when you do damage modifiers, you total the whole amount before you then minus things. So in this case, in the old rules, it used to be you would roll the you'd look at your damage characteristic, do everything you need to to that, and then put all your positives on. Whereas now it's you do all of it, so you put your positives on, and then you do your negatives. Happy days. And I do believe that's in the rules commentary stated within the modifier section because it made Morty a fantastic little sea town hunter, made Thunderkin great again. It um, also makes the Avatar really good. And it also made me happy because my Rogal Dawn of Blade Plating actually now does yeah. stuff. Um, However, I'll go plus one to win. Not, a, not a bad little turn. However, it kind of spat a little bit in Steve's face there when all those uh, Wraith Blades hit him back and picked up some more stuff. He just can't seem to chew through. As much as Jake is true and through at the moment, can he? Yeah, this attrition is going towards Jake's side at the moment. Which I am surprised about. You know, I felt that, especially when 
Not me. Steve came out the gate hitting hard. I, I thought that was kind of going to be the tone of the battle that Steve was going to continue just chip and chip and chip. Yeah. Um, but that avatar coming out, doing some work, being a big distraction has obviously caused some pain. And I imagine the night spinners, you know, they're still, they may have gone up in points, but they're still frustrating sitting behind that building and just, you know, denying that objective from being taken, but just shooting everything without line of sight, yeah. reducing movement, charging, all that sort of shenanigans. It's just not fun for anybody to play against any direct. So I might still take two Basilisks and two Manticore. <laughs> well, the benefit of the Night Spinners, I think, do they have Torrent with Indirect? Or are they hitting on... You don't know? I do believe they're still hitting as normal. Uh, yeah. Well, not as normal, but okay. with the minus one. I don't think they're auto-hitting. they heavy or anything? Uh, potentially. I'll tell you what. I've got the power of the internet at my fingertips. I'll, I will educate myself and you. I mean, I've played into Night Spinners a few times, and I've hated every minute of it. So I should, I should really know. Um, Steve, when you have a second, can you rotate the dice tray, please, uh, anti-clockwise, just a bit. So, Seb, the Doom Weaver itself. It's D six plus three. It's blast. It's devastating wounds. It's indirect fire. It's twin linked, but it is hitting on threes. Mm. So up to the fours, no heavy. So he's not getting that buff down. Um, strength 7 no AP so benefit of cover will work nicely there for people but it is the damage 2 that always got me with the dev wounds yeah it hits um, hard for something that can't see you yeah and, and again this is where um, we're saying like my, my example when I run my guard with Lord Sola that I have to take him in a blob of something like the um, Cadian Shock Troops or whatever just to yeah. give him some ablative wounds because because he is such a force multiplier, people will instantly look to ping off your officers because as soon as you can't issue orders anymore, then your efficiency just goes massively down. Uh, it looks like they're done at the table. Cool. So well, before they start, I will read out the super chat from Mars. Five New Zealand dollars. Oh, that's the currency of Mars, apparently. Yeah. Uh, I can't stay for the stream, but I wanted to say thanks for all the good strategic advice and entertainment while I paint these Shatterpoint figures. That's it. Nice. Shatterpoint yeah. itself is something I've been looking at recently. Yeah. But a bit of Star Wars, me and uh, me and Mike have been talking about. But as I said, we digress. Back to the players. Hi. This now it's serious because Steve's taking his shirt off um, to intimidate me. But this is in year 11, Steve. I'm not intimidated by other boys with bigger muscles than me because that was everyone. Um, so yeah. what I'm going to do, so yeah. what I've done. Yeah. Hmm? I can't believe that. What? That people have bigger muscles than you in year 11. I know. I'm shocked. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, we can't be brainwashing us. Um, right, so what I've done, Fugan's moved out so he can shoot this raider. All right, then. So just so then when I go to combat, I can potentially put a bit more damage on the Archon. All right, then. This Eldrad is going to finally use his precision shot and try and kill your succubus. Okay. And then in return, then the Farseer will try and then black that unit off. Oh, it's just for a, a bit, double kill. But I'm hoping in the most ideal situation in the world right now... I'm potentially going to get five or six kills this turn. Oh, that'd be nice, that'll be wouldn't it? Archon, Succubus, Witches, Raider, Whip Rax. Oh, and maybe all the some... kills. Yeah, so right, let's then. give that a go. Let's do it. So let's start off with Fugan. All right. So he will shoot. Fugan. His name has changed every time you say it. He hits. Oh, I love him. Right. Twos. Oh, my God. Right, take an invulnerable save. Five up. Okay. Easy. I think it's five up. Yeah, something like that. It's not a four, Are you though. ready for it? Well, how many wounds does he have? Oh, I don't it know. doesn't matter how many wounds he has. You're just dead. It's six damage. Plus D6. But for the people at home... How many wounds has it got? It's got... It, you took seven. <laughs> cool, I get eight wounds. Is that actually? No, I've got six. <laughs> oh. Do I blow up? No. Okay. So Fugan's killed one. So that's one kill. Next thing. Mm -hmm. Eldrad. <laughs> uh, so Eldrad. So yes. He's really cool. So he's got twos. He hits. Yeah. He's anti-character 4+, plus, but he doesn't have death wounds. Okay. <laughs> uh, he wounds because it's strength 5, but I have plus 1 to wound from Doom. So, 1 okay. invulnerable save, or okay. minus 2 on your succubus. Um, D6 damage. Mm -hmm. 6. Cool. She's dead. So she's dead. Right, yeah. Eldrick Storm. No one knows how this works, so might as well find out now. <laughs> First time ever in the history of Eldar... Of Eldritch Storm. And being this used. guy does have the weeping stone, so if he actually kills a unit, I get to roll a, roll a fate dice. I never thought it would come up, but this, you know. Uh, right, so d6. So five. That's five. Um, so freeze to hit. Very nice. Three hits. Oh, just with, what you need. With a reroll. Oh, with a reroll, of course. Uh, twos anyway, because it's strength six. Uh, with a reroll. So four minus two, d3 damage each. Six up in Vans. 
Oh and no! Like, and I finally get to use this enhancement. Uh, where is it? Weeping stains. Uh, each time the bearer destroys an immediate roll of d6 and add it to your fate pool. A free. Hmm. No one will ever like that. Right. Okay. Avatar. Avatar time. <laughs> okay, hang on oh, a second. Oh, wait. <laughs> hang on a minute. Oh, I, can spend, I can spend the strat. Oh, no, you're going to charge me anyway. Carry on. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that was so hard to do. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, I'm just so good at Warhammer! Oh, reroll. Uh, that is free, because it's strength for eight, six, 18, something like that. Sure. Sure. Do they so, teach rolling sixes on the academy? They don't. <laughs> Between you and Matt. That, oh. It's not a lesson I can <laughs> yeah, teach. It's, yeah, Matt taught me, actually. Yeah, it's called Fate Dice, actually. <laughs> cool. So, D6, so this is 3D6 plus 6. Enjoy, so that's enjoy yourself. 18 damage. Does it explode? No. Pass them over. Free. Pass it back to Billy, we don't need any more. Thank, Bruce. Thank you. Thank you. Couldn't even kill a thousand. Couldn't thank even you. kill a thank you. Night um, spinner. Right, then I'm gonna shoot a night spinner at those racks. Go on then. So D6 plus three with blast, so mm -hmm. uh, D6 plus four. Fours. With a reroll. Toughness of a rack? Four. So threes. Uh, with I say that with absolute confidence, but I'm not with sure. With twin linked. Cool. So yeah, one, toughness four. one dev wound, three involves. Uh, three in runs of a six plus. Mm -hmm. Okay. So three die. Uh, hang on a minute. Oh, do you have feel no pain? Feel no pain five up. So I'll re-roll any successes. Ooh. Need to roll a five or a six here. Nope. Nice. Three dead. Cool. And then Doo -doo -doo -doo. next one nine. How would I re-roll? How would I re-roll? <laughs> uh, threes. There. So two lots of dev. And then, Sixes, we'll go through, so yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, Ooh, it's not go. bad, but uh, I'm dead, they anyway. Are dead anyway. Cool, I get a pain token because you killed a unit of Rax. Nice. Um, cool, so then charging. Now, Frugan does actually have room to get. No, you can't charge for your model in the charge phase, that is illegal. Wait, that's illegal. Um, mm. Nice. You're not looking very happy. Um, so, what we'll do is <laughs> we'll do my pardons. <laughs> so. Well, you're not going first, mate. Oh, yeah, no, it's an yeah. ongoing combat. I'm going first. Okay. Are you going to epic challenge me? Uh, Do I have many, to take another battle? How many have I got? One CP? Mm. No, I'm going to keep it. Okay. Uh, so, five attacks. One miss. anti tree three plus. Yep. Uh, three. And this is just onto my wraith guard, isn't yep. it? Yep. And your AP? A two. AP two, so four plus. Uh, damage two, so one's on one. Cool. Uh, just put it on that one. All right. Then pile in. I'm not tall enough. Uh, so he has to go here. Yep. And then he has to go. So these two can go here. And they can go there. Yeah. And then the rest can just file in, basically. Yep. You you you'll just stay there. Then he'll have to get base to base as well. Yes, yeah, so that's fine. And then you can just chill. Yep. Cool. Because you're gonna die anyway. <laughs> Um, so that is five that can fight. Uh, yep. So, can I survive? Five. I've got a two plus and vulnerable save. Freeze. That's oh. just begging for trouble, Steve. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, lethal with a reroll. Uh, oh. This is twos. Oh, with a reroll. So oh, okay. Uh, seven. And right. you've got to do these one at a time. And I can't CP reroll it. Oh, <laughs> it's like the only time slay roll Here we is go. encouraged. That's the first hey. one. That's the hey, second one. Hey, 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 a bit bored now. Last one. I'm okay. <laughs> and then my spirit is here. Uh, Don't you do it. Uh, one hit, one wound. Hey, cool. <laughs> you just tanked a whole unit of Wraith Blades. What a legend. Yeah, uh, what a hero. Cool. Um, so end of my turn, I'll get deploy teleport homers for five, investigate signals for four, and I killed a unit for four. And I killed like five units, I think. Uh, uh, you killed the Venom, Venom the Rax. When, when you say investigate signals for four, as in you got four corners? No, I've got two corners. You've got two for four corners, points. happy days. But um, yeah, you've you currently got the kill one, but you probably are going to get the kill more, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I yeah, killed I'm not five, kill units, five. He doesn't even have five units in his army. Right, next card I'm going to draw Best is be lucky behind good. enemy lines. Go up to two CPs. I'll get to four. Behind enemy Jake lines. Stacking the bank on. Okay, cool. Um, so I need to. I don't owe you a battle shock check here because he's loving life. Yeah. Um, I've got no fallback in charge, unfortunately. How many ejectors do you have, Steve? Uh, uh, so I'm one. holding one, so just four points. 
Okay, cool, cool, cool. So he's got 10 wounds left? He does indeed. He's not minus one to wound it because I had to put it on Fuegan. Yeah, okay. Cool. Um, can you move that tape measure oh. out of the way? Right, you can mute us and I'll do my moving. Great. Well, uh, that was pretty brutal. He was pretty efficient. He called it. He called how many he was going to kill and uh, he was not kind to Steve. Luckily on this channel, the, uh, the channel owner doesn't tailor the games. Then yeah. We, we might watch it go against Steve. Well, uh, yeah, we like to keep it uh, PG sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, he's trying to show off the uh, the new detachment and whatnot, but it, it just shows that Elder aren't dead. Yeah. They are not dead underwater by any means, and, you, you know, they're, they're still absolutely coughing out all the wounds, all the fake dice nonsense. Night spinners are still doing it, you know, and, and, the, and the classic Elder reroll. Comment, yeah, just coming out every two seconds still. It will <laughs> forever be head. frustrating. Yeah, followed by normally what you happen with what happens with Jake is you get and then Elder Ring roll <laughs> and then <laughs> don't try turn this around on me deflection boy. Um, yeah, I mean just it's kind of surprising actually sometimes because it doesn't look like there's a lot for the Elder like in terms of models, but still hit hard like the avatar with his spear and charging in just stomps whatever's in his direction with his little barbecue fingers yeah, just trashing their place yeah his barbecue sauce covered fingers um just yeah, dripping down <laughs> yeah it's just barbecue fingers i'm not gonna be able to forget you, can, you can't you can't leave that out of your imagination um, and and yeah and so steve's now having a real little bit and he's he's, he's Kind of got to do his camp. Well, he needs to. He needs to answer Jake before yeah. Jake starts running all over him. You know, Jake started deep striking in. He started getting all the movement on. He's starting to dominate that centre board, and Steve has to answer back with something now. Whether that's a big, a big melee and take a big chunk out of the army, kill the avatar. I don't know. Elves killing elves, um, as Victor says. There, it warms his little neck on heart if he had one. Jake's currently dying for some unknown reason. Ah, so we've got the jiggly giggly ghost because she was dancing a minute ago, and now the yeah. That's the only CP I had, and and I went four, and he went no. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I have, I, I have been questioning your, uh, your CP just to, every end now and again, just to make sure I am tracking it correctly. Because no, it it is, does seem like you have a ridiculous amount. I, I, I because obviously you're still, you're still gaining that extra one, and yeah. you're just not having to spend them on anything yeah. defensive right now, are you? Um, the only things it's worth it for is Overwatch, Phantasm, and Lightning Fast. Yeah, Lightning Fast. Yeah. But I haven't, had, but I can't use Lightning Fast on Wraith, and I can't use it on the. <laughs> I don't think I can. Use is that it just because of keywords, or is that? Yeah, it says you can't use on Wraith constructs. Nah, that's oh, exciting think, good he, news, isn't he's it? Is it on the Avatar? I don't know. That was what I was going Can to he think. be lightning fast? Can you be lightning fast in melee and shooting? Or just... Yeah. Uh, yeah. You can be... I know you definitely can use it in both phases. It's ironic. Jake's army's lightning fast. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> what are you about to say? <laughs> hey, it, to be fair to it, it says it is lightning fast reactions. Like, I've got good reactions. As so demonstrated just... a moment ago. <laughs> yeah. um, it, I can use it on the Avatar... And you can use it on any unit. So yeah. He is a unit, like myself. He is an absolute so. unit, yeah. <laughs> the know avatar. so funny. But... Cool. They're about to top down, <laughs> so everyone can see what Steve's up to here. So the Incubi have come out. Yeah, let's come and slice and dice, hopefully. He's got the two CP. Oh, no. I'm not sure if he can do the little movement shenanigan again with uh, some of that aspect of getting him back into the transport and just trying to keep him alive. But it does allow him to get his storm hostile objective, hopefully. Yeah. There's only that one Wraith sitting on the objective, so hopefully he picks up the majority of that squad um, and just out OCs him on that one, uh, taking it away. And that also then takes a big chunk out of uh, Jake's sort of army that hopefully then allows everything else to start moving up towards his home objective now that the Avatar is pushed up onto that objective in the sort of the north as we're looking at it, I suppose. He can only be in one place at a time and maybe it's to the point now where we just ignore him. Yeah. And go for everything else and trying to trick the rest of the army, pick off stuff that we need and Especially those sweeping try, hawks. Try to score some points. Because if they survive, they'll be able to go back up into the air and drop down, right? Yep. And score some points elsewhere. Be silly little another secondary dragons. sort of doer there where Jake's just playing the mission as opposed to now trying to kill stuff because yeah. You know, although Steve has got some speed with his vehicles and stuff, he's starting to run out of uh, some of his resources around there. Again, if the Avatar's closing in or anyone else is closing in, they need to keep moving and try and keep safe because he's not picking that half damage up just yet. Yeah. I mean, uh, totally. We may even see when it comes to it that 
Jake just starts using the night spinners to slow things down, so that, to limit um, Steve's score. Um, currently, we're seeing just a mosh pit around the Wraith blades. Um, they are Dark Elder, so hopefully a bit of Slipknot's in play coming out of the boombox. <laughs> oh, <box. yeah. laughs> we, can, we can have a little dance, a little headbang. And they've got the hair for it as well. Prior to joining the army, I did have hair down to my nipples. It was a solid look. Um, I am Thanks still a little <laughs> rock, rocker at heart. Yeah, nice. Uh, <laughs> you should, I was like a little naked mole rat when they shaved me on day one of basic training. Although I didn't want to give, I didn't want to give them the uh, satisfaction of doing it themselves. So I did have a haircut prior to yeah. uh, my arrival at basic training. Oh uh, right. Um, but, you know, after, I now I now just have the uh, as we call it the cav comb over. Oh. So I'd like to have seen that. Well, I will find you a picture and I'll send it to you privately because yeah, well, it's not going on social media. I can tell you that <laughs> for free. Um, I do not want to be bullied for my past regrets. Uh, we've had uh, Mary become a VT member. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I think... I wonder what Steve's thinking about right now. I think it, well, he's, he's trying to get some angles onto the avatar. I think he's trying to pick some wounds out on the avatar whilst taking that centre objective and... He's still got cards to draw, obviously, for pushing on to Jake's home objective and into the different quarters, maybe. You know, he's had engaged, hasn't he? So, yeah. Um, you know, he needs to kill some stuff, and he needs to take away Jake's efficiency at killing things. And Swooping Hawks, although they're able to do the secondaries, they can't... They're not, they they're not do necessarily anything. killing things. Yeah. So, you know, if he can... And, again, if they run up, he can look to screen again, do his nine-inch... You know, he has got the vehicles, they are fast. He can try to do some screening and denying... But he is you know, storm um, wrong capture enemy outpost. Where is the you know take the objective off your opponent home objective? Steve's yeah. probably going to be in a better position to maybe push for those big points um, towards the end there. Um, there's only a couple of night spinners on there. There's not a great amount of OC. So with all of his uh, movement shenanigans etc., he might be able to just snatch that, and that's a big eight points right there, which brings him right back into the game um, if he draws that card. And he's got behind enemy lines currently, doesn't he? Do you think he'll hold on, hold on to that just to try and get into that? Back, I think so. He's so line? he's so close now that it'd be um, it'd almost be silly to get rid of it. Yeah. Um, he doesn't necessarily need the CP, I don't think, at this point. Um, Storm hostile objective for a nice easy five. Um, again behind enemy lines he's going to be able to get it as long as he can pick up all that stuff in the centre and stop the road move and the road block then he's in but by doing so he might sort of hold himself back we get yeah, a thumbs up we'll see well uh, looks like he's done alright I'm going to overwatch Steve with Fugan so I'm going to roll to see if I hit my raider yeah this raider here yep. so I'm going to roll to see if I hit and if I don't hit I'm going to put a fake dice in cool you did. Sick. Well done. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Steve, wow. thank you so salty. Uh, freeze. I love Fugan. Oh, what? Is he strength? He's, he's not strength like 14, is he? I don't know. Oh. You've been using all the time. I don't you, know. He just, I just assume, you tell me his rules. To be honest, he just normally wounds everything anyway. So this is very rare. He's having an off day. Uh, strength 14. What toughness is it? Eight? Yes. Okay, so I'll re-roll it. And I'll re-roll. Yep, so it goes through. No, not yet. Well, sorry. I mean not it wounds. Yet. I mean it wounds. I got a six to roll. Okay. No, of course no, I didn't. And then I'll turn the two. Uh, Eldar reroll. <laughs> and then I'll turn the two to a six. That then means it's twelve damage. And that's cool. Great. Do I explode? No. Cool. cool. Good fun. It's good fun, everyone. So that's six units dead. <laughs> that's actually pretty significant because I teed up to kill five. So I know you did. That's why I was like, "Oh, are you gonna do it? Are you gonna do it?" Yeah. Be fair. If you, if you kill five units, you've tabled me. <laughs> so, so, so you win the game if you if you kill five units, Steve. Over here, yeah. uh, this. Uh, Star Weaver, Void Weaver, Void, Void Weaver is nearly, gonna, nearly. is going to put everything into that far back unit. Yeah. Um, I will lightning fast them. Do you want to? I'll back that. Cool. Okay, so here we go. This is the um, Shuriken shots first. So hitting on fours. Hitting on fours, and then twos. Mm -hmm. uh, four um, saves. Minus one, right? AP one, yeah. So five ups. So I'll take them on the not two wound guy. They're all two wounds anyway. Uh, that's uh, what I mean. So I'm saying yeah. I'm not taking. So three dead. Uh, two dead because they're. Oh yeah, up. sorry, yeah. And then we've got you get five ups, so I only get six ups. I know. My old arm is good. It's because I've got aspect armor. You left the cool kids and <laughs> went and been edgy, and now we are <laughs> bit <the cool> edgy. <laughs> and now he's feeling a hey, bit emo himself. If, if 20, 22 jump or twenty one jump street taught us anything, two strapping is cool. Okay, this is the two <laughs> strap gang. Okay, you've just one strapped it, and now you look like an idiot. 
Says I rolled, the man with I rolled the 11 hits with Blast. And tattoos. Yeah. Uh, only two saves, please. What's strength? Oh, it's strength four, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. AP? Nothing, okay. so one dead. Now you owe me a battle shock check, please. Oh, why? No. Failed it. Cool. Gives me a pain token. Right. <laughs> Next unit. Gonna rinse, repeat. Yeah. So the uh, sher. I want that unit gone. So the shurikens. Four hits. Mm -hmm. Twos. Only two. Uh, on the same unit. Yeah. Uh, one's dead. Two d six shots. Seven. Two. Four. Six. Seven shots. Fours. Threes. Two saves, please. And these are two damage each? Just one. Okay, cool. So I've got to fail both. No. Cool. Gets a pain token. What's, what's his armor save? Five up? Four up. Oh, four up. Yeah, yeah and I've got no AP on that weapon. Hmm. That's, That's why annoying. I said is he two damage or one damage. Right, okay. Well, I'll take that pain token back then. Yeah, you have that. Well, no, you get it because I failed battle shock. Yeah, I know, but I want to kill you. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, you've already put that one on. Okay, that was a bit depressing. So, um, next up then, we're going to go with... Hmm. Right. Is Dram right saving that one, He's trying. <laughs> the cogs are turning. Jake's just standing in the corner, gobbling off. All happy, the little goblin that he is. Right, pistol time. I was like, I was just like... Using Fuegan to be honest. Yeah, I've missed cool. him. Oh, so he's back to Fuegan now, is he, rather than Fugan? Yeah, it's all. It depends how I feel. <laughs> Fuegan, Fuegan. Yeah, we sometimes throw an extra letter in there, don't you? Yeah. It's easier. Right, here we go. Uh, nine pistol shots at uh, Fuegan. You say potato, I say potato, I say, <laughs> you say Fuegan. And team three, three, three plus, so that is five saves on him, please. No AP. Two up. Five up. Takes a wound. Uh, so he's down to four, I believe. Then I've got a blast pistol. He hasn't normally died. I've hit. I have not wounded, because you're... Or, were you toughness five or four? I'm toughness three. Oh, okay, so I have wounded then. Okay. I'm fine. You're okay. Cool. Uh, right, so the Archon here is going to shoot a blast pistol into that unit. Um, hits. Have you got any other like one damage weapons because I've got one on a wound? Not really. Oh, okay. I mean, I do, but let's not worry about no, it. No, no, you do. Uh, one save. Okay. Uh, D3 damage. Yeah. Three. Kills that one. Cool. Poor little fella. Um, Dark Lance shot here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it at that one swooping hawk. <laughs> okay. It's on a four. Hits. Hits. Just going to blur it somewhat. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, Felt the <laughs> wound. Steve. <laughs> um, cool. <laughs> Over here. Just roll sixes. This unit here is going to shoot at everything into Eldrad. Uh, this one. No, no, we'll go into the far here, the actually. Yeah. yeah. He's easier to kill. Yeah. And okay. if he stands back up, it's another kill. Uh, I don't. He doesn't. He hasn't got the stand back up. Oh, it's he's, the way he's got the stand back up. And Fugin stands back up. All right, we'll go on to the uh, far here. Yeah. Cabalite unit, first of all. It gets rid of the minus one's wounds, so that's important. Yeah, so we're going to go with the Shredder first. D6 shots, that's four. A strength six, so uh, two, two saves, no AP. So two four-ups. Four-ups, they fail, so down to two. And then the Blast Pistol misses. Mm -hmm. Dark Lance hits, <laughs> fails to wound. I thought you could blap him. Uh, yeah. Next Dark Lance hits, fails to wound. Blaster fails to hit. Jesus. Uh, three shots from the other gun, the... Um, the cannon. Yep, yeah, three hits. I think you're, you're being rapid Twos. fire. Uh, rapid three, fire? Just roll me three saves, see what happens first. I'm dead. Okay, cool. Splinter pistols are gone. Right. Yeah. Okay, so that's done. Good work, everybody. It wasn't the best shooting phase. No. I just put my hands on my head for you there, Steve. That was, that was sad to watch. Hmm. Right, charge phase. This guy's going to charge into those swooping hawks. And he's going to turn shark. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> now stay this side, stay further away from the uh, avatar. <laughs> he's a very angry boy. <laughs> um, then we're going to go with this raider into this unit of... Wraith guard? Wraith blade? Wraith guard, yeah. How many wounds he got left? Four. He's got four. 
He took a singular wound. Mm, tank shock's not the best idea, I don't think. He does have a five at Fionnay Pain. Yeah, I'll just go into him. For some reason. He's durable. He's ridiculous. <laughs> best model ever made. I could probably do with an update. Cracking model as well. Looks really dynamic. Yeah, we're not even using it. <laughs> <laughs> His Seven. massive gun. His massive axe and him just yeah. stood there. This unit here will charge into here. Oh, five gets in a minute. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Tabletop, uh, Tati Tabletop, for the five gifted. And welcome Ricky Watson, who became a VT member as well. Base those three. Okay. Okay, cool. So. <laughs> it's like a sandwich. You've got raiders and they've got like, all the incubi are going to fill the gaps. The witches are going to declare on Fugan and Eldrad. I thought you didn't have to declare anymore. What? I thought you didn't have to declare anymore. Yeah. Oh, right. You say just Sigma. You can just attack who you want. Oh, right. Oh, the problem, that's what you meant when you said you didn't have to. It's just, it doesn't really matter. It just depends if you like, if you only declare a certain model. Yeah. And you have to base that model and you can't get them. So if they can pile in round, mm. then they absolutely could. But yeah, anyway. Incubi going into this unit here. Mm hmm. An 11. Oh, wow. I want to leave that model there. That model there can stay there. My lovely ham handed race. <laughs> ham handed. Yeah. We'll have to. The big ham hands. Base. They don't have axes, they just. I don't like <clears> the <throat> image. It's like Lurch on me. Lenny from my summer. Drizar will charge into this unit here. Eight. Like, pet the rabbit. And George. the other units will be blocked. <laughs> Obliterated. <laughs> <laughs> One shot. So he has to. They weren't based. They are based. Okay. I'm actually quite scared to see what Draz does because he was very good before. Like in te in ninth. I haven't, I've only played one game versus Jakari, and that was versus Ben when we did the stream launch. Yeah, Drakari used to just be called Drizari, didn't they? When Drizari. They used to, uh, yeah. used to it's, it's bring D, that army on. Much. D Drizzle's greatest hits. The army. So, he'll have to go that way. Oh, you don't owe me a battle shock check on these guys, no. please. Just one. I'm fine. Mm, damn it. Uh, I wonder how many times you have to take it if I put two units of Incubi in. I assume twice. Abilities. At the start of the fires, each enemy unit with engagement range of one or more of these oh, units, okay. so you're okay. Yeah. Right, okay, so... Uh, no, I'm have gonna... enough to interrupt. Yes. How many attacks does Fugan have? Five. That's probably five dead witches. It hits pretty hard. Mm. Yeah, it hits strength six, minus four, flat three, for some reason. Right. Hey, strength five, sorry, so I will be winning your threes. The fire axe. <laughs> right, I'm going to go with the witches first. Mm. I want to do an Eldar, man. I have a really cool custom um, for you. And I'm basically going to empower that unit, this unit, and this unit. So all the units. All the units, yeah. Lilith. Hesperat. Yep. Yeah, she is going to put all of her attacks onto Eldrad. Yes. So you're mm. going to fight the witches first? Yes. So Lilith is going to go on Eldrad. Okay. And then uh, all the witches are going to go on Fugan. Cool, and I get 12 attacks. 5, 10, 12. And who's going to hit, sorry? She's this is hit. Lilith this onto is Eldrad. Eldrad. Let me get Eldrad. How many stats. wounds have you got first? No idea. Let's have a look. So, Eldrad all the way. He's 5 wounds, toughness 4. Yep. And. Invent save? Uh, 4 plus. Okay. He's not actually that durable. Right, I'll go with, yeah. Go with this, Lilith. Um, Reroll any misses. Oh, I'm going to fish because I've got sustained two. Oh. All on Eldrad. Go for it. Okay, we didn't lose any, but I just do gain four hits. <laughs> she's, pretty, she's pretty good, isn't she? She's, she's like a solo assassin. She's anti-infantry two plus. Oh, oh no. Oh, wowzers. Cool. That many saves, please. Uh, AP three, not that matters. 
Oh, he died. Uh, yeah, he's definitely dead. Eldrad is dead. Or Eldrad all flew. Into tiny pieces. <laughs> Very sad. Right, now, Mr... So I get 30, 30 attacks here. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 30 attacks. And I get plus one strength. So it'll be strength four. Yep. And then you have Lance, so you'll be moving one twos. Yep. And you got sustained here. And I get plus one AP, so I'm AP three. Okay. No sustained. No sustained. What is that with the succubus gave you? The succubus gives you sustained. Oh. She gives you, Lilith gives you five first and plus one AP and plus one strength, which Very is kind of good. Did you use Lilith's uh, once per wound? Oh, two wounds. So you only, wound, you only, you only roll two ones. Okay. So there you go. Yeah, so, there we go. So, oh, oh, God. Look at them little hands. <laughs> You're going to have to load him up, big boy. <laughs> Chervil hands. <laughs> Fours. Uh, yeah, he's dead. I want to roll the film up. I can't let him die. He, he won't forgive me if, if I don't roll one. He's ever, the, ever the optimist. <laughs> now he's dead. He's, he's gone. Uh, on a two up, he gets back up. Roll a one. Oh! Uh, so he'll he'll get up. I don't know when he gets up, actually. End of the, the phase. End, the end of the phase. Mm -hmm. He'll go there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I can consolidate this way. Oh. Do I want to spend a CP at this stage just to get back in my radar? Probably worth it. I feel like that is a... And then... I am going to interrupt as well. Yeah, we'll spend a CP just to jump back in my radar. Yeah. Cool. So I am going to interrupt with the Wraith Guard. So that cool. takes you down to zero ZP, Jakey's week, and yeah. that takes Steve down I to the one. I found all the ways yep. to spend my command points. At last. Uh, so I'll put five into the unit with the Archon. Okay, so you can put four into here. Yeah. He has to go into there. And then... Why uh, does he have to go into there? Hmm? Because he's not... Because he's base to base with this, oh, right. and he's not base to base with the model okay. here. That's why I charged him in. Okay. So one, two, three, four, and five can go into this unit here. Okay. So right. I'll do that, and then one will go into Drezar. You can't do that. So one has to go into here. So that model that's going into there. Oh right. Can't is, is the he one not base to base? Not at the moment. Oh no. right. Exactly. And he's base to base here. Okay. Right. So that's why I did the old pincer movement. No, that's fine. Uh, so five into the Archon unit. Yep. So you freeze. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll use the reroll here because it's important. Four lethals. Twos. So that's ten. Yep. Ten five ups. Ten five ups. Well, ten involves in a two damage each. So I take five at a time because we've got yep. the Archon there. Five ups. Uh, so uh, three dead. So yep. Then two at a time. Oh, no. Uh, then now they're dead, and then these get on the Archon. So that goes on the Archon then. Yes. And he's fine. So all the Incubi die. Cool. Then one on each Raider. Mm -hmm. So first Raider, uh, two hits. What toughness is a Raider? Like eight or something. Yep. So one wound on, on the Raider on the objective. Yep. The one not on the objective, two wounds. The one on the... How so many? One on that one. So he fails it, so that's yep. two damage. And yep. then two on this one. So he's got eight left. Yeah. And then two on the other one, yeah? Yeah. Cool. And uh, so down to eight on that one as well. Thank you. There you go. Thank cool. you, thank you. And then you get to fight. All right. So I still have half the damage output. Pretty much, yeah. Fine. Yep, you sure yeah. have. I'm just going to pick him up now. <laughs> what does the spirit seer give you? Uh, he gives me lethal and plus one to hit, and he lets me bring one back. Right, okay. Pretty important. He is on two wings as well. He gives you lethal, he gives me nothing lethal else. No, no, no. So he gives me lethal. In terms of this attack sequence? No. Okay, cool. No. He'll just let me bring a model back. It might go, if, they, if he still has a unit. <laughs> It's probably very likely he won't. It will not be good. And I don't enjoy very much. 
Okay, we're going to go with um, Drizard unit now. Okay. Well, I can't do anything. So yeah. You might as well do it all. Well, it could matter if I wanted to basically um, go with the Archon first and spend a CP so I could nuke him out, you see. Can he see me? Yeah. Okay. It's hard to tell because I'm getting confused with this. Because <laughs> um, the wall space to be. It just would it make know. any difference, and I no, don't think fine. it will. So I'm just going to go with. I this don't think it here. does because if because the only thing he really he he just makes these better. Mm -hmm. Like I've already fought with them, you can't not make me better. Yes. Yeah. How I see it. Right. So we're going to go with the incubi here first, and there are three attacks each. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Rerolling hits, but not wounds. No. And I'm already getting plus one to wound anyway. Why? One, oh, because you've got lance. Three, so what's Drizard do for them? Gives them plus, gives one, plus one to wound oh, as well. Right. So, so it doesn't really, really give really him. Matter. It's why I quite like Drizard on his own. Yeah. But what is nice is if I had minus one to wound, I guess. You would still have plus one to wound. Effectively. Yes, yeah. Which is good. Yeah, Drizard on his own seems way, way, way better. Yeah, it's just another little trading piece then. Yeah, the Archon's way better. Uh, uh, so, so T7. So be fours. Hmm. That's not great. That's pretty rubbish actually. AP. Uh, lots. And uh, damage three. Two each. Oh, two each. Uh, so one dead, one on a wound. Mm -hmm. so you killed the one that was. Uh, oh God. Oh. Right, we'll go with Drizar now. Yeah. He gets five attacks. How many, is anyone wounded now? Nah, yeah, one dude's wounded. One dude's wounded, okay. Yeah, we're just going to go with Drizar. Mm -hmm. Five attacks, real misses. D Drizzle. And then looking for strength six. So fives. Fours. Uh, fours to wound. wound. That's pretty rubbish. They are devastating wounds though, oh, so okay. that how, will just kill. How, how, what damage are they? Well, I could decide to put this onto the character at this stage, because this is precision. Oh, okay. Which I may as well kill so him kill and him kill another and kill model on a wound. Yeah. And that I gives me D3 back. pain points, uh, one, because I killed a character nice. um, with that ability. And then the Archon next. So he gets five attacks, he rerolls misses, and then he is looking for plus one to wound, so anti infantry two plus with not rerolls because he's not leading a unit anymore. Just four. And these are AP two? Yes. So one's on a wound. Okay. It's actually entry, entry three plus, but he would have rerolled a wound roll, I yeah, think. Yeah, it is. doesn't matter. Yeah. Right, and then uh, two raiders. Yeah. I think they're like three attacks each. Hitting on fours. Do you want to just do them both at the same time? I will do, I can't yeah. take you out of combat or anything. <laughs> yep. Three and three. So six attacks. Uh, One. AP. Nothing. Uh, all good. And then okay. Void Weaver versus my Swooping Hawks. I think it's going to be one hit. Unless I hit on threes for some reason. I might yeah, do some Harlequin. Yeah. yeah. Dude, dude, oh, I get an extra attack. And I get that. Do you hit on threes? Oh, no. uh, uh, strength three, though. So, so two, two saves. Uh, base five. One dead. Uh, oh, no, yeah, because you've got armor. And then uh, I'm not going to bother anyway. Cool. Cool, that's it. All right. So, well, that gets me storm hostile objectives. You definitely will get storm hostile objectives. And I get behind enemy lines for just one of those So you'll get things. five and three, respectively. Yep. You killed one. Uh, did you kill more in the end? No, no. I didn't. No, I killed the Spirit Seer. I killed Eldrad. Both characters. And I, and I basically get both of those back. And that's it. You killed three units. That and time. I did kill Fugan. He oh, counted yeah, four, but I killed four. six five. before I even killed. Yeah, you killed five, and then you got the six. The raider and then the thingy. So yeah, the incubi unit. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Jake yeah, gets to kill more. more. Cool. Okay. Marco. Mm. Jake up to two CP. Uh, um, Are you putting any of those dudes in the sky yeah, again? Yeah, this dude is gonna come yeah. off the table, but they can't because they're in combat. Mm -hmm. Um. Battle shocks. I owe you. I think I owe you spinner? the wraith. Oh yeah, definitely the wraith spinner. He's fine. Uh, I think the wraith guard owe you one as well. They're at five now, yeah. Yeah, because I had eleven to start. They're fine. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna get hold for four. Yeah. Yeah. 
You won't hold more. And then cards. Cleanse. No prisoners. Cool. Kill so stuff. Cleanse. Hmm, it's annoying. This guy is so annoying that I didn't kill him <laughs> yeah. because this is stickied for me. It is, I know. So, so it's I'm kind just of annoying that. myself here. See. And you do need to take a battle shock check though. When I, unless you want to spend a CP in auto I'll just it. I'll just spend the CP because yep. it's too integral not to take yep. that off you. Um, but yeah, you don't have to mute us or anything because I'm just going to do some movement really. Uh, Avatar's just going to move here next, get you ready so he can pounce. Yep. Don't have to worry about doing any of that. Wagon's going to come here. Mm -hmm. Shooting Hawks falling back. Uh, I don't know, Jeff. <laughs> I quite like the idea of not doing that. Because um, then you can't shoot your super fun gun at me. And you can't fall back and shoot. Okay. So, yeah. Stay in combat then. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I will. All right. Uh, and then, uh, so, shooting wise, Wagon just needs to kill a tank. I'm tempted. He's tempted, everyone. So, you, so you move him to here. Yeah. So I can grenade the Archon. Very nice. And then do that. Cool. So shooting, Fuegan's going to shoot the Raider. So freeze, because you're in combat. I yep. Um, whatever I need to wound, that wounds. Uh, six up in one save. Mm -hmm. uh, how many wounds do you have? Eight. So I'll just put a three in. Yeah. I should have spent the CP oh, for a four you, in No, no, no. Oh, okay. It's good. Okay. So I'll kill you. Yep, with cool. The three. Do I explode? Nope. Cool. So that will get me a kill and no prisoner. Four. Five, eight, eleven mm -hmm. people inside. God, One dead. There's people inside, aren't there? But it's okay because I've got night spinners. I've got the I've got the crutch. It's okay. Crutches. There's two. Well, no, one of them's on crutches. I think Steve <laughs> Steve's going to need crutches soon. <laughs> Jakari just fall down, don't they? Mm. Yeah. I like the idea of taking like that list we spoke about ages and ages and ages ago of six raiders, six venoms. Do you remember that? No. Like that might be me and you, Jake, out. when I was looking at Tricari. We were looking at a lot of venoms. I try not to listen to Jake. Maybe it, was, maybe it was you. I mean, it is a force <laughs> of habit, Steve. Just yeah. ignore him. But... Thank you. It's hard to ignore me when I'm in your face. Uh, and then I'll grenade with this. Only when you got a step ladder. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's five more wins. Cool. He's dead. Oh, bang! And then I'll um, dragon fusion the raider as well. I'm just, I'm just coming up from all cylinders. Uh, he hits. Uh, yeah, you will hit. Uh, Eldar reroll. Eldar reroll. Uh, strength eight, toughness eight. So no, you need four. Very sad. Um, first night spinner. Mm -hmm. We'll shoot this. Actually, I'll do this night spinner. We'll shoot this unit. Cool. D six plus four because of blast. I think. Then no, no one. Did anyone die? On one one died. Some did ten. Oh, so it will be D six plus five. Three, six, nine, ten. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Eldar reroll. Eldar reroll. And then uh, twos. Twos. Uh, so f uh, two dev wounds, three invols. Three in uh, three saves, five ups. Oh. So three die. Yep. Uh, and then I'll do the next one into them, why not? Cool. Uh, so six, so ten because of last. Two, hmm? so five more. They're, no, they're not because they just got out of the raider. They got out of the radar I killed. Four more dead. It's just because I could just, I think that's Lilith's hair I could see, and I yeah. thought that was one of your characters. Um, charging. Okay. Fugan's gonna, oh no, you have five. Ooh. Oh, no, don't want any of that. Or do I want any of that? No, is, is she two damage? One. Oh, maybe want some of that actually. Um, well, let's do the obvious one. The Autark's gonna charge the radar. Okay. Eight. You're within nine. I'm Push within eight. Me. I'm within seven. I have, you know. There we go. Uh, and then, uh, oh, I don't know. It's actually a really hard decision because if you kill Fugan, mm -hmm. I will cry. Mm. And we'll have to stop the train. I'll just concede because he's my favourite. Um, I can't believe you didn't go up in points. I just. Mm. I have to charge him because otherwise you're gonna me. you're gonna charge me anyway. So. It's maybe a massive mistake, but you being one damage makes me a lot happier. So I'll fight first? Yep. When in doubt, always charge. I'm going to pain token myself. Are you going to pain token Incubi as well? Uh, well, they'll be fighting before, you won't they? But you have to declare it all now. So I'm absolutely going to do that Which with the... Which is very weird. <laughs> yeah. Incubi. 
don't know if I like it. It's interesting that you have to declare the pain token at the start of the phase because obviously you don't know what is and isn't actually going to make the charges. The, yeah, so. well, this yeah. is the point. Yeah. Right? Well, so you can pain token in the charge phase to re-roll your charge and then you can pain token it at the start of the combat phase. So you'll know if everything's yeah, in combat. Sorry, yeah. but, but the main thing is like it. Steve pain token the Archons unit that then died because mm. I interrupted. Oh, do you know what I've been forgetting? Luckily, it hasn't mattered just yet, but they fight on death on a four up. That's their special rule. Oh, well, you've always interrupted. So yeah, that's what okay. I mean. So that's yeah. what I mean. It hasn't mattered yet. You owe me a battle shock check. <gasps> I fail it. Cool. So pain you get token. pain token. Also, Steve, have you used this once per game? Thing? I did earlier, yeah. 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 What was her once per game? To, for, to boost myself up to 12 attacks. Oh, I didn't yeah, know. Into oh, Eldrad. Yeah, no, when she went full meat blender. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, cool. So eight attacks. Looking for some sixes here. Fish. Uh, yeah, probably fish. Go on. Fish for me. Big box. Right. Okay, that was worth it. So then. So another six go in. Yeah. So he dropped one, but gains six. Five. So five basically gains. Uh, T three. Oh, I'm anti to be two plus. Oh, okay. I will keep my muscles. AP f uh, four. Uh, so four up in roll. An AP. I disembarked, but yeah, it's, it's four up either yeah. way. Well, you've definitely spiked your roll. Great. Wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> cool, good fun. Good fun. Sorry, Steve. And then, good fun, good uh, fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> we're all having fun here. We're all having fun, everybody. Everybody's having fun. Uh, so, I'm having laser so fun. <laughs> now the witches. I thought it was only me having an aneurysm. <laughs> and, <he rolled> <laughs> and Steve missed them all except for then three rolled them, it's fine. Uh, strength he, four, so but plus one to wound. Didn't charge though because you. Yes, yeah, Lance, isn't it? Yeah. Not plus one to wound, so, so only one. one. He fails it. He fails it, so he takes, takes a wound. Great, Ooh. well done, Fugue. Um, I will fight with this one first because yep. you can't do anything there. Autark. It will hit. Uh, strength six. Toughness okay. is five. On the red, on, on this. The no, sorry, toughness is eight on the red. Yeah. Unit. So fives with a reroll. Two at minus two, two damage each. Uh, cool. right, Six then... moves left. Cool. Right, now it's me, yeah? Yeah. Well, you'll get to pick a unit to go. Hmm. Right, well, I'm going to go with. Make Wraith Blades great again. Gonna have to go with the Incubi, I think. Mm. I concur. Yeah, go with the Incubi. One, two, three, four, five. Five yeah. Incubi. And then you're hitting on threes, re rolling, but wounding this time on fives. No, because I've got Drazar in there. Oh, because he just so gives still you get plus one to wound. Yeah. yeah, for an ongoing combat. Okay, maybe that is the good bit about him, though. Yeah. You get it all the time. Fours, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. That many saves, four ups. Uh, so one dead, one on one. Yep. And then Drazar's five so attacks. Kill, so that one has to die. And I'll put the one on this one. And he wounds on not that. Uh, they're dead wounds, oh, they're, they're dead two wounds, more dead. So I'll kill this one mm -hmm. and put this one on a wound. So, oh, sorry. Yep. So, do you, so does this one get to fight? No. Does the other one get to fight? No. Cool. Uh, I will then fight with Fugan. Yep. Twos. How would I reroll? And then twos. Threes. Because he's strength five. Oh, is he? How would I reroll? Four. If you could do two at a time, though. Yep. Yeah, witches have a. I think they've got like a better invent saving <laughs> combat, right? Or was that the old edition? I don't know. That's they, old that's, edition. That's what they used to have. Yeah, they used to have a four up in combat. They do not have that, which makes them. <laughs> Pretty oh, uh, naughty word. So <laughs> diable, invulnerable save. Oh no, it is. Oh, it is. It's, it's, it's you've got. It's weird how it's okay. present on the. So app. you get four ups. Right, right, here we go. Four ups. So both dead. Great. And then <laughs> Lilith's work. needs to. Good work. Which is one job. Right, Lilith, come on. Toga. Toga. She's got a four up in van, so it's, I just pass both of these basically. Three damage. Toga. Cool. Toga. Failed one. Cool. How many? Flat number uh, three. three yeah. Got one wound left. Um, then the raider, you could try and nip off that last wound off the dude. Yeah. So what we're going to do here is we're going to play a stratagem. Yes. And what we're going to play is... Is get off me. <laughs> basically do a bunch of mortal wounds. Okay. Is what we're going to go for. Uh, index 
sk uh, sky splinter stratagems, vicious blades, right? Yep. In the fight phase, just after a transport has been selected its targets, that transport, after your, okay, after I fought one enemy unit that has target one of those, whatever, I roll loads of dice, basically. Uh, <laughs> I roll 10 dice, because I've got 10 models inside, and for every five oh, dice, you take a mortal wound. It, isn't it? Mm. Is there a that is a that? mega good strat. Hmm? Is there a max to how many more? Six more is the cap. Um, yeah, so, so it's what, a mega good strat. What we're going to do is we're going to go with the Archon first, because he hasn't fought yet. Yep. And then that'll, but that, the only thing is, if I, just, just for your sake, if I spiked with the Wraith Blade. Yeah, well, if you if he dies, yeah. then I can... Oh, yeah. yeah, but I can fight on death. On a 4+. plus. You can fight on death on a 4+. Plus. Yeah, again, this involves me spiking, like, later on. Well, you have, I'll, I'll do have it. to hit and wound everything. And yeah, get I'll go with this guy, and I'll spend the CP. Yeah. So, three attacks, one no hits, and then I roll ten dice, five, ten, five ups on the Wraith Blades. Yeah. Just three. Oh, same one. One dead, one on a wound. Yep. And then yeah. does he fart on death, that guy there? Yes, he does. does. So he can either fight the Incubi or I'm, he can fight into the Raider. I will fight the Incubi because I think there's too many factors yep. that need to happen. So fours because I've not got the guy anymore. Yep. Uh, I'll use the LRE roll now. Just out of curiosity, Gurgly's just called it Fugue and Charge. So should have fought after the Autark, then the Incubi. So now it should be the Wraith Blades. What was, the, no, se what so was the sequencing of your Lil charging Lilith, and your fight? So I charged, but Lilith has fight first. So she yep. got to fight before me. Frugan and the Autark both charged. They both had fight first. So I chased to go with the Autark. Then, oh yeah, well, I should have I should have fought before your Incubi, but it makes literally no difference. Oh yeah, that, yeah, that literally makes make zero difference. difference whatsoever. Yeah, well, just, one, just confirm for the chaps. Yeah, the main it, it one is that Lilith got to fight well. before Frugan. Three Incubi dead? Yeah. Um, and they then, need a better save. Can can so can my wraith blades now just put all their attacks onto uh, onto the, the incubi? Yeah. Yes, or the archon. I'll put them all on the incubi. Okay, cool. Fours. I've used all my re rolls. Mm -hmm. Twos. Three more, please. And there's only there's, two left. So there's two left. So one dead. Alive. He's okay. Alive. He's okay. So one more dies. Oh, I feel that. Take the one out of combat. Cool. Um, that is how they say that. Now the Archon. Except for him. <laughs> I forgot about him. Cocked. Uh, did I paint? I did paint you token did paint this unit. You did paint token him, yeah. yeah. Five hits. Uh, and he's not leading a unit anymore, but he is anti infantry three plus. Yeah. So that okay. is three, please. Uh, so one is left on one wound. So the Archon's out of combat now. Cool. All right. My poor Wraith Blades have <laughs> been abused. So, um, how many units did you kill then? So, I killed... Um, you killed the Raider. Killed the Raider. You killed, killed the, witches. the Witches. And I believe that's it. And I've killed a Spirit Seer. Uh, yeah. But you killed him last turn. Yes. Yeah, so it won't matter right now. Yeah. Um, and what? I killed your Archon. So, I get five yes. for no prisoners. Yep. Yeah. Plus, I've killed three units. And I'll get five on cleanse as well. Because yes. I've done it with the Avatar and the Sweeping Hawks. Yep. And I just get four points. Oh, no, I hold this middle one, but you hold, hold three. three yeah. So. And you do owe me a Battle Shock on Lilith as yep. well. Yeah, Battle Shock on Lilith. Uh, she's uh, fine. Cool. Yeah. And then Battle Shock and Incubi. Yeah. Uh, they failed. They failed. Okay, so I got to two CPs. Ooh, I got up to one. Cool. Just before you start that turn and I update scores on the board and CP, etc., we have had some super chats and some um, activity. So first of all, as usual, the big James Hobbs has dropped in the <laughs> 199 sticker. As pointed out, the gesticulating finger. And he's got a new puppy and it says hello. He's <laughs> called it... Oh, dogs can't he's, talk. He's so. bad, but his partner has named it something else. And this was a unilateral decision that he did not have a choice of a new puppy. Um, so he's really happy about that. It's been picked up, Steve, as well, by a few people. Um, you're looking a bit sad. Sad flex rolls. Um, I know. We're having fun, remember? Oh. And I know it's Jake, but come on. I'm not having fun. Uh, table, uh, tattoo tabletop, $5 super chat. Once again, thank you. A uh, brief look at the new Jakari detachment. Seems like they're going to lean into enhancements and some strats. Stoked to watch the VT vid on it. Thank you very much. Uh, Warp Spider, uh, £2 sticker or super chat. Uh, strength 9 on the Dragon Fusion gun. Was when it? Jake was rolling oh, round I don't dice. think it made a difference because I think I rolled a 2 and whatever, but it's okay. 
I, I, I will I will live with thank you very much and then uh, Joshua Burdine hey. I hope I've pronounced that Josh. right $9.99 what's up gents just tuning in after work looks like there's not much left on the table given the opponents probably a lot of haymakers being uh, thrown around right I've been um, I've been Je- taking lumps out of this box I've had enough <laughs> Fugan should be dead that's what I'm sad about well he did die but he came back <laughs> so he should be dead again no. he should be double dead no. Cool. I'm so, Steve obviously, think. we've just I've distracted and we're moving very quickly. Can I just confirm CPs on the doors? I've got two. One, one and two. And Steve cards. Uh, I've drew Capture Enemy Outpost and Extend Battle Lines. And extend Battle Lines. Thank you very much. Yeah. So you have that. So As, it stands, yeah. lines. As it stands, yeah. As it stands. But oh, you're yeah. going to fight before me. Yeah. You could re- retreat the raider. Mm-hmm. You just retreat the raid. Hey. I'm going to play my turn. You can play your turn. Well, I'm just trying to help you in case. No, I don't need any help, thank you. you. See, this is what happens. Steve Gay's all like, mm, you killed all my models because I threw them at you. <laughs> and they're mm-hmm. all squishy. Apparently you did roll a free with that fusion pistol. Ah. So it, it may have made a difference, but I, I should well, name my rules. Well, serves so. Jake right for not getting his rules right. Yeah. I, I should name my rules. Great Get sportsmanship re- from there, Steve. Exactly. Take, taking it on the chin. Yeah. Get wrecked. <laughs> um, are Incorrect. You re- are you retreating? Huh? They're not in combat. Oh, okay. I didn't know if they were engaged in range. No, no, no. But they are battle shocked. They're battle shocked. Cool. So they're AC zero. They are OC zero. Yep. Cool. They're just annoying me. Unless I charge in the fugan. Be. You... Oh yeah, no, they can charge. That's the whole point. I might charge in the fugan instead. Let's go this yeah, way. Yeah, that's fine. Right, okay, so that's that. I can hopefully pistol I this think dude he's out. Dead. I mean, it's fair to say he's very dead. Mm-mm. I do have fights first on the Autark. Ooh. Just so you know. Oh my. Where is my Cabalites? There they are. So you've got to capture enemy outpost. So I've got six AC, so if you just put four Cavalites on there, you've got it. So there you go. And then they're going to get blasted. Spend CP in charge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, they, they can just do it. They don't have to worry. Oh. Right, blast pistols all in range of that guy. This thing here. you still got that stupid six, you do. Mm. It's annoying, that. It is annoying. Yeah, because you could overwatch... Probably wound on a three, and then what's the damage of the f- of the gun? Which one? Oh, the dragon fusion. Yeah, it's D six. It's D six damage. Maybe Did plus melter? something. I believe it does have melter. Why you guys are in a little thing? A little five dollar super chat from yeah, Curse Cowboy. Thing. Great hanging out with you, gents at LVO. Thank you for all that you do. It Thank was you. good fun. I had good fun. I am gonna fall back. I wish Steve could say he's having good fun. I'm not having good fun. I hate Fugan. <laughs> he's doing it to himself, though. <laughs> he's like, oh, I hate Fugan and I hate Jake. Anyway, I kept saying I really liked you, but you only say it when no one's listening. Right, that's going there, so yeah. you can't phantasm back through the wall. Um, right, cool. Did you want to overwatch here? Uh, Keep that I'm going to overwatch here. Keep that to yourself, Jake. Hmm? I can equally just overwatch here. <laughs> I'm not going to, but let's just have overwatch a where? Like, like here, like when you move there. But... Oh, I want to get. I'm going to it. Okay. Um, no, I'd rather save the CP. Um, however, what I will do because they he fell back, so he can't shoot, right? Correct. So, how far do I need to roll so then you can't shoot me with your inky cabalites by going through the wall? Probably about here. So, yeah, you... about a five. Uh, yeah, five. He's gone, Why for the not? Fan- He's gone for the phantasm. Why not? Oh, He's rolled a four. four. So where could I go? I can just go in the building to stop a few line of sights. So yep. your dark lance can still shoot me, but not. Cool, cool, cool. Anything right. Else? So shooting phase. Uh, that star void weaver is going to shoot them annoying hawks. So you can't shoot your big blast. No, but I can shoot the two shot. Shoot, yeah. shoot your main. Guns. Six shots. Minus one to hit. Cool. With a sustained. Two. Uh, uh, sustained, yeah. and then the one that went out of the, the box. one that went out of the box. Two AP one, uh, two. and then I've got two void shots. One hit, mm-hmm. one wound. 
AP lot, so five up. One more dead. And then we... We... Over here, this guy's gonna shoot this one hawk. I'll put yeah. the six shots in first. Yep. And then two... Twos. Four saves. And dead. He's gone. So he killed one unit now? Yeah. Um, and then... And... <laughs> over here. Mm -hmm. Archon is going to shoot this... Um, Wraith Blade? Yeah. He's hit. He is hit. He's not wounded. Of oh, course man. he hasn't. Um, you got grenades anywhere? Mm, over here, I think. Yeah. So... I, say, just, well. I think Cabalite's got the grenade keyword. the Archon? War gear abilities. Yes. So I'm going to chuck a grenade with the Cabalite. He's going to chuck a grenade onto the one wound thing. Yep. So you just need one four, Steve. Easy. Just one four. They say that. Just one four. You gave me change. That's cool. very good. Ch uh, that doesn't explode. So you now killed two units. Right. So then, um, I'm going to put everything into this Wraith Blade. Mm. One Dark Lance shot. <laughs> one hits. Fails to wound. Uh, cool. Blast pistol. <laughs> hits. Save. Fails to wound. Uh, one shredder. Man, one man army. Five attacks. One man army. Uh, two saves. Uh, cover. I think it ignores oh, cover. He rolled a one. Definitely dead. He's gone. Oh no. Cool. So now we've matched units for kill. Charge phase uh, into here. Drizzle's going in. D drizzle. And then the Archon's going in. Uh, not D drizzle. His friend. Okay, cool. Um, and then these Cabalites here are going to charge into your night spinner. Into the night spinner. Nine. Whatever, something like that. Get base to base. Don't touch me. No. You got a blight. Don't touch me. He's not had a haircut yet, Jake. Yeah, he's got me. an eyebrow. Hang on. You, there you go. You he looks my bad. Long eyelashes. Yeah, eyebrows. Look bad. <laughs> right. Okay. And you'll cool. go. Oh, why didn't you tell me? That's so what you make noise. Over with. here, Drizzar. D Drizzle. Let's do this. Come on, boy. Let's do this. Oh, we got. <laughs> uh, I got some pain tokens, so I'm going to yeah. put it on the Archon. Put it on this guy. Put it on Lilith. Yeah. Uh, I don't care over there. Right, cool. When you need something, you're dead. You just put the pain <laughs> tokens put the on. Tokens on. Put them pain tokens on. Right, here we go, Drazar. You got dev wounds. Let's do him. Right. Five attacks. Okay. Five hits. Nice. And wounding on twos. Twos, yeah. Yep. With dev. No re rolls, though. Three dev wounds and four saves, please. Are they flat free? Yep. Oh. Uh, let's see. Nine damage. Well, me more mental things Ouch. have happened. Woo! <laughs> He's dead. Finally. So now you've got kill more so far. Yes! Unless something drastically goes wrong, which I don't think is actually physically possible. There you go. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and then I will put you there. You there. No, she wouldn't have actually fought. No. This compiled into all the objective this way. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, cool. Over to you. That no, gets me. Wanna... Capture enemy outpost for eight. Oh, sure. hang on a minute. I want to do that combat over there, And though. you want to do this one. Yeah, we'll do that one over I there. I want to do this one. Over there? Yep. Three hits. Mm -hmm. uh, no wounds. Uh, here. All hit. Uh, all wound. Uh, kill two. two dead. Uh, just doesn't really matter which ones. Or... These two. Cool. Thank you. Has anyone got any good weapons in that squad? No. No. No, it's got a cyberite weapon, but it's only... Strength three, so let's not oh, worry about that. Okay. Right. Cool. So you're going to get kill more. I get capture enemy outpost. You do. Kill more and extend battle lines. So, yeah. Very good. And kill and kill. And more. on that bombshell, we've had a $4.99 super chat. Oh, awesome. Thank you very much. GOC89. Great to see you guys on the stream again. Yeah. I wish I could say the same thing. Me uh, too. Right. So, cards wise, what are you picking up? So, I'm, gonna sk I'm just going to get hold. I hold it with the avatar. You do? Yeah. Defend stronghold and overwhelming force. That's perfect. Because Autark's going to go do a mission. Go crazy. Yeah. All right then. Cool. Can um, you go up to two CP, Jacob? Or yeah. You? Same for me as well. So what all I'm going to do, just so then it's again for the chat, move the Autark here, mm -hmm. fall back the Night Spinner. Yep. So I can, and then spend a CP so I can retreat and shoot. Yep. 
the avatar's gonna waddle his way menacingly. Yep. <laughs> and that's how menacing it is. Uh, and then when it comes to shooting... How far does he move, by the way? Ten. Oh, that's ten. good. So then he's going to shoot his thing at Drazar. Yep. So on a two. No. Did you say you spent some CP, Jake? Yeah, I just spent one to fall back and shoot the night mm -hmm. spinner. I'll put the six in. For the sustained? The yep. So two hits on Drazar's unit. Yep. Two wounds on Drazar's unit. Okay, so he has got a four plus vulnerable save. So... One so involved on the ink bar. Five up on the inkers. No, he's dead. So he's dead. So that's kill. Yep. And then I need a four up here on Drazar. And I got a CP if I fail it. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. You, you gave me change. And then my last CP mm -hmm. I'm going to use to grenade the Cabalites. Yep. Just because I need them dead. So three dead. Yep. Then I'll fire my Dragon Fusion. Yep. It hits. Yep. It wounds. Uh, kill one. Cool. Yep. Uh, and then the Night Spinner will shoot its Shuriken Cannon at that, and then the Night Spinner gun at Drizar. Okay. It's a nice so, disc launcher. So, yeah, the um, yeah the Frisbee gun, three hits. Uh, Frisbee gun. Oh, okay. What? I thought we had a two there, but you get an Elder Reroll yeah. anyway. Well, I also it's sustained. Oh, it's right, gun, I got yeah. you there. The um, sustained, yeah. Three at minus one on the Cabalites. Uh, two dead. Cool. Um, Any two. Any three mana. Uh, and then on Drazar, yep. four shots, fours with a re-roll. That was a hit. Twos. Uh, two saves. Oh, you could re-roll twin yeah, link, right? I'll just fish for it. Yeah, so still two, no AP. He's okay. Cool. Uh, and then charge. Yep. Uh, way leaper. <laughs> oh! Uh-oh. That's a CB reroll. I don't have one, so he's actually out. <laughs> That's mental. <laughs> so I've got I've I've got enough to contest you, but I have to kill those two. Yeah, that is very very sad. And then the avatar will charge both Lilith and the Archon. Okay. Very nice. There we go. Because I need to kill two units on objectives. So I'm tempted to just dunk all my attacks into Lilith and just guarantee the kill. Right? Yeah, because you've already killed the Archon, yeah. Yeah, because well, yeah, I might keep spiking my two ups. Well, that's the thing. I'm yeah. just going to have a look. So I could do 12 attacks. They'd wound. Can I split the attacks from a single weapon? Uh, yes, you can, but you can't take different types of attacks. No, 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 that's fine. You can be like, I want to put six here, six there. I'm tempted to just do that, six and six. Okay. What's Lilith's involved? Four up. I'm going to do that. So I'll do six on the Archon, six on Lilith. Mm -hmm. So on the Archon... I won't use the rerolls here because Lilith's the one that needs to die. Uh, four. Uh, so. it, it goes through. <laughs> so to two damage and then. Oh, okay. Kill. Now he's dead. Now he's dead, yep. Oh, cool. And then on to Lilith. Yep. Uh, didn't use my reroll, so I'll use it now. Yep. Failed that. Twos. Uh, so five more. Four ups. She's dead. Cool. So that's three and it's dead. And then the Night Spinner, <laughs> the hero. Do you hit on threes or fours? Uh, that's what I was thinking. Normally it's... It's one hit if not, river reroll, so... Oh. Just check it. Um, yeah, so just one hit. Two's one wound. One wound? Yeah. It kills one. Uh, right, so does that mean at the moment... I'll have it, because I'll maybe see four on there. But I need to then have it for a whole turn. So I've got a four plus save. I'm gonna CP reroll that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, does it matter which one? No, I'll take the one out of combat. Yeah. So I'm gonna get overwhelming force for f for five. Yep. Starting defense stronghold, killed a unit, and I killed three units at that. I'm just gonna try and kill those. Oh yeah, go for it. Oh great. No. Uh, one. No, okay. nothing. Don't worry about it. I won't bother hitting you back. Cool. cool. So five for overwhelming force. Um, I killed and killed three. Nice. So, so I get uh, hold, but not hold more. Because um, you hold yeah, two, I hold two. Yeah, because you hold two, I hold two. Uh, battle, sh it doesn't matter actually, it doesn't make any difference. No, it's not going to make any difference. No, because even if, because you're not going to be able to kill I'll roll them. it anyway. Yeah. I'm okay. Yeah. Um, Drizar needs to take... Is, he, is that no? no he's no, no, fine. No, he hasn't right? taken eight, but that's Lilith's one. So no, yeah. he's fine. Take all your to see no chips away. Thank you. He's fine. Do you, uh, do you, at this point, Steve, sorry, do you score your objectives at the start or at the end? At the end. Oh, I start. Is this turn five? It's this turn is five. turn okay. five. Yeah. So I've got a defend stronghold, yeah. and I've got assassinate. Mm -hmm. 
So what are you got to do? So you have got some CP if you want to get rid of assassinate. Yeah. Well, I've got right. this dude here, can. but oh, you right. can obviously so phantasm. And I yeah. can. Then um, yeah, I've got a CP. Yeah. Okay. But what could you potentially draw instead of assassinate? I have no idea. So you've got hold for more now. Well, no, you don't. Sorry. No, you do have hold more because you hold three. Mhm. Mm so you're gonna keep assassinate. I think so, yeah. yeah. Do you want to overwatch if I move this guy? I, uh, no. Okay. I'm just going to make sure this guy can shoot down there. Mm -hmm. He will defend stronghold for me. Mm -hmm. um, so that gets me the hold more as it stands, doesn't it? Uh, and I might make a I'll charge here. I'll hold two here. and you'll hold three, so yeah. So okay. It just depends on if you deny me defend strong hold and get yourself a kill. Well, no, well these will die. So they're dead. Um, that's not stickied anymore. It's actually important for it to be rolled out, Jake. Well, oh yeah, if I you've guess. got time. You've... Yeah, we've got time. Yeah, it's, it's um, important. It's important. Um, 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 um. This is the last turn of the game, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you want to know scores on the doors to nope. help make no. your decision? No, 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 no. no. I would, I would, I, otherwise, I would ask ages ago because I think I don't even may potentially need this. Whaley stands back up on the two up, right? He does, indeed. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to ditch off Assassinate. For a CP. Yeah, because I was tempted just to chuck a grenade at you. Yeah. But if you roll a two plus, I'm you stand back up yeah. anyway. So it doesn't make anything. So I'll ditch off Assassinate for a CP. So I'm down to one. And then bring it down. Kill the Avatar or the Night Swinner. Which you could grenade it and charge it. <sighs> but... I think that's going to happen, is it? And how many wounds this guy's got left? Uh, ten. Ten. In that case, Drizal will just stay there then. He's, I'm just gonna, he's not going to do anything else. Just maybe you can see him under the knife. Um, camera. <laughs> cool. So, this guy's got to just basically nuke him there. You've got a five, so you can blank a thing anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I've got two fives and a two. Yeah. This isn't going to do anything to him. All right, cool. So you have to get at least one kill. So you need to. This can't shoot because it fell back. So that, that will there? have to shoot there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Let's operation. Got. Try and kill the avatar. Right. So over there, six shots. Mm -hmm. Four hits. Yeah. Two. Uh, three saves. Uh, AP one. Yeah. And. Ooh. Yep. So that's it. So that's kill. Um. Then. Oh, how many CPs have I got? One CP. Dark Lance at him? Yeah. Missed, obviously. Uh, I may as well pain him up because. Yeah, yeah. Nothing yeah, else yeah, you've to got do. nothing else to do. Uh, still missed. Okay. Uh, and then Drizar's going to charge. Cool. Um, I will overwatch you. Cool. Why not? I'm a six. No, we have a reroll. <laughs> cool. Oh, twos, four invulnerable saves. Uh, he's yeah, dead. Cool. Right, right, there we go. That concludes <laughs> it. So, can we confirm? Yep. <laughs> so, I got kill more in yep. the last turn. So, you killed one Steve, but not more. Yeah. Yeah, we both got defend stronghold, so that's three points each. Yeah. And Steve gets hold more. Yep. And, and I don't get bring it down. And you didn't get anything for bring it down. Nope. <laughs> because the was gone. I mean, it was a big ask, <laughs> and that was just rubbing salt in the wound. Mm. I'm not having it. <laughs> he's like, no, just a six. Get no, wrecked. Incorrect plan. <laughs> Just get wrecked. Yeah. Just get wrecked. Well, that was underwhelming. Mm, well played. Good work. Thank you. Played it very say, well, sir. When, when you can see through your little box mine. <laughs> so, scores on the doors. What do you think it was? I was um, I teased you with asking, do you want to know scores? To I, help? I think I've got like. Mid 80s, I think, because I'm pretty sure I've maxed my second days even before I did that, and I've pretty much had kill more every turn. Yeah, so maybe I think you've, had, you've had a hold and a kill more yeah. every turn, so you're going to be netting in about 12 points a turn. Yeah, so even if you, so I may have 30s. got 100, 
I don't know. <laughs> you wouldn't have got 100 because you need you would have needed to have got kill more and hold more every single turn. So I, I got that. there was a turn I think I got kill more and hold more. I don't know either. Probably, I was just gonna say like mid 80s. I I'll think. That's about yeah. right. Yeah. I reckon I'm in the 60s. Oh. Is it 69? <laughs> well, you're both wrong to a degree. Yeah. Uh-huh. So Jake did get 100. Steve, you got 96. <laughs> How was that possible? <laughs> so there was only one turn in which Jake dropped Kilmore. Uh, Kilmore. There was only one turn you gained that. He and the hold more. So Jake Jake maxes uh, primary out um, pretty quickly, to be fair, with Persia foe, with the constant of getting control one, control oh, more, kill one, kill more. Um, okay. It was the, oh, you got 48 out of your maximum of 50 for your uh, primary. So it was at the end there that, sorry, wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Five, you you five. actually got less because you didn't get killed more there. You got 92, not 96. I'm 90. teasing. That's still teasing insane. You. Teasing, you. Score, teasing you. Teasing you. But so it what was, did uh, you drop? Primary. Unfortunately, yeah, so if you didn't get rid of Assassinate at the end there, yeah, you and obviously the Defend yeah, Stronghold obviously from Jake obviously brought it up. If you were able to deny Jake that Defend uh, Stronghold and you got Assassinate, it might have gone the other way. Yeah. Did, did I not max secondaries until I got defend? So you're no prisoners. Wrong. Because uh, so I got five on no prisoners. Yeah, so you got overwhelming force for five, yeah. defense stronghold for three. And I think your defense stronghold didn't matter at that point. Oh, okay. Yeah, because that's what I was like, I don't know. So. I suppose, yeah, because you only need to score 50 points, right? So if you had four turns of hold... A kill and a kill more. Well, if, if that's I, twelve points a turn. That's yeah. forty-eight for the. Yeah. And then four more points for a kill. Yeah. Because I was. That's yeah. why. So, I was so Jake never... was Jake was essentially getting sixteen points for primary. Because turn, turn one, I got eight points. When did you get a hold more though? I think when there was a turn where I swear I had more, wasn't it? Yeah. Because I denied. You, it was so turn turn three. You had hold more, Jake. Because I had the avatar. Turn four, here. you didn't. Uh... Because I thought I denied primary just to keep you to four every turn. It doesn't matter because you'd no. still get 48 I'd still easily. get it, yeah. 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 Well, you get 50 because you get you had kill more every turn and a hold, which is 12, and then you get the yeah. one he was, turn he was, of He was getting the minimum extra. of 12 every turn then with the four. With the, the four, four extra, that's then, the 50, yeah. Yeah, and there was only one turn he dropped off. Well, Eldar obviously are terrible. They uh, are awful, yeah. The nerf has hit them too hard. I actually hard. wish I had the Incarn still. But I think there were so many moments that game I was like... In if I great. just literally do this, yeah. like that, ter- like turn one, knowing I went first, yeah, just double night spin of the rate, the rate racks. He turns up and just starts causing havoc in your lines, and at that point, it doesn't matter what. Yeah. what would you drop? The, that one. The only difference and is... the weeping stones <laughs> that actually came into the, this. The, I would have just deployed very differently. No, I know. I like, it's it's different out, when so. when you when you know he's in the list. Yeah, he's still mega good though. He's like, very good. Just to give him minus one to wounds. Mm-hmm. His sustained things ridiculous. Yeah. I don't know if Eldrad's worth it. Uh, I think he's... I, he, well, if you think, um, I actually... Didn't use the last three. But I gained one, so technically I used... That was very niche, though, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. But, but you also, like, you it's never what... know how many you'll need, because mm. I, I was never using them on You the also sales. had a very good roll. You had three yeah. sixes Since, and two yeah. fives on the nine, because yeah. averagely on the six, you're just going to roll well, one six. Well, if you think I had three sixes there... Yeah, you, you could argue. It was so sad watching Steve roll yeah. all those ones and twos yeah. for dark lances. And well, that's pretty sad. Depends on what <laughs> side. It's a sad depends what, what, what side what, the coin you're on. If it's watching sad, Steve to be honest. and his muscles deflate with every dice roll was yeah. heartbreaking pretty for much. me. I've got not much left now. Yeah, <laughs> I've got nothing left. <laughs> I've got nothing left. <laughs> you know, you got beat by me. Forty yeah. K chump supreme. So. so I think my view on the Drakari detachment. Needs more hard I points. like <laughs> the stratagem that allows you to fight and jump back in. I think that's cool. Yeah. But it, I think the army does need two CPs every turn. Yes. Because you need to get out your transport. Because mm. there's no advance and charge in the army. Yeah. So that really slows you down. So your maximum threat range out of a transport is 11. Mm. Then your charge. So it kind of takes that one CP. But you definitely need 30. You then want or... that one CP to also jump back in. The army just doesn't hit hard enough. I think you need yeah. ink by three archons, personally. And Drizar on his own, yeah. Yeah, I don't like Drizar in a unit. I don't think there's any point. Does his, his buff only work if he's leading a unit? So his buff for... Um, what's his... Yeah, the plus one to wound, only if he's leading. But, but even as still, long as he gets out of transport and yeah. charges, you're well, fine anyway. Well, he can just anyway. go in a Venom. Yeah, whatever. With, like, a unit of crappy yeah. whatevers. And, yeah. yeah. I think it's good. I think it's a really good attachment. Um... 
I the, think they there's a lot of like there's a, I think the thing with it is that every, all the lists that I've heard of are like triple incubi, triple tantalus, triple. And is that healthy for an army? Probably not. If it's just like the reason I the army's good is because he's just only, take three of the same. The only unit reason every time. that I dislike the detachment is because. It doesn't support Reaver jet bikes. It doesn't support Hellions. No. It doesn't really support well, anything that can't go in a transport. And it also doesn't yeah. actually support the transports themselves. So if, for example, these also guys got Ignore Cover yeah. because they're a transport, then you might think, well, actually, a Dark Lance with Ignore Cover, that's not too bad. I have to admit, like, you, you never used the Ignore Cover. It was just the Lance. Yeah, because you know, because why would you get out of a transport when you know you can just stay inside of it safe? And the yeah. only thing that you're going to get is equal cover. The one stratagem for a five plus for sustain on cabalites, mm. you're never going to use that because you can't use it because it's <laughs> because it's in a <laughs> transport, transport and you don't want to get out yeah. until. However, you, you want to use the cabalites like yeah. I did here for that last kind of play. Yeah. Get... How, however, without poo pooing the detachment too much, Lance is amazing on all the units. Having the pain token for the extra AP came in really, really clutch because otherwise those Wraith Blades probably would have stuck around a lot longer. Yeah, the AP is good, yeah. nice, yeah. So yeah I, I, I like good. the AP change. I yeah. think that's good. Just um, make, I think... make them pay them when you actually do your thing rather than at the start of the phase as well. I mean, that's not the worst of it. I think uh, if I had an army that... Or if you had more guns and let's say you lost three or four yeah. raiders because they do die very fast, yeah. then you've got nothing to actually jump out of, so you'll never get Lance. Yeah. Because you're not disembarking. I also turn. think having Wraith Blades in this game was way better than having Wraith Guard as well. Yeah. Because they were just so hard to kill. Yeah. Like, you were really struggling. You don't want to admit it. Imagine if they had no, I was struggling. on them. I was yeah. struggling. I couldn't get through them. Yeah. That's what I mean. I, they took so much. They took all three units of yeah. Incubi. Um, two Raiders. Two Raiders. So yeah. are we admitting that Jake list tailored? We did. <laughs> well, that's what we're admitting I put here. my list come down hey, to. No, hey, I put my list in, and then his list goes in the chat once, twice, three times, and then hey. I get here and it's different. Hang on a minute. <laughs> so, Jordan started writing a list. <laughs> oh, I, yet again. Oh, deflection box. Oh, oh, oh it's the, put, the Matrix. Oh, put, no. I put my list in. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I've, I, I, I literally just was at work. Two minutes building the list. I like Fuego. Well, I like Wayley. Let, I like let's this. Let's be honest, it builds like itself, this. doesn't I like it? This. It's yeah. a shame, though, that the balance debt slate for Eldar didn't help out Striking Scorpions or Banshees or <laughs> the unit Shining like. Spears <laughs> or any of the cool units, basically. And the, only, just... the only units that are actually any effective yeah. are really the still the Avatars, Fugan, obviously, um, but there's not really much combat support. No, Nine spinners that. are still great. Well, I've proven the combat supports there. The Wraith Blades are amazing. And the outcome. And my favourite <laughs> moment is that I never put yourself in a position where you could put this right in my deployment zone. So, who's the real winner here? The monolith. The monolith's the real Always winner. Always the monolith. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you so, so much. Billy, you've done an amazing job on cameras. I, I hope. I don't know. Don't lie. No clue what you've done. Nah. You've been giggling. Uh, I, can't, I can't see anything. You've just been giggling. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know. Chris, fantastic work on commentary as always, sir. Thank you. Sorry about the Domino's advert at the start. Well, oh, it's okay, mate. You know, it's I've, good I've, I've had a couple of good weeks without you here, Steve. Now you're in. I thought I'd at least embarrass you a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. I uh, just, you know, skirt over it. Please yeah. do not drop that, Jake. I know it's not got far to fall, but it may break. <laughs> Say Seb, your thank you. Seb, thank you very much as well for this evening. Yeah, Seb, yeah. you've done a great job. Thanks. And Jake. Walking put my, home. Put my monolith down now. Come on. Put that cookie down. Put it down. <laughs> Put it down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And thanks, Steve, for not being too salty <laughs> for when I was... <laughs> but we don't want to influence the children anyway. Right. We can cut that bit out. Bye. See you later and see you next week. Bye. Bye-bye.